بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم hello everyone and welcome to this is football welcome to another stream ladies and gentlemen we are out here habibis and we're here to talk about this week's results all the stuff that happened this week man united's 2-2 win against liverpool uh, sheffield drawing with chelsea arsenal are top of the league it's in your hands now in your own words don't bottle it um, you know city win as well so yeah there's two guys with draws on the panel today and the rest is is all winners big up to all of you guys make sure you got actually three guys with yeah the rest is winners because two two is a win for my united make sure you guys are slapping the like button make sure you guys are subscribing to this is football if you're ready to do so mods keep pushing the like button please i don't want to keep stopping the show you guys know hamza's monologues is about 20 minutes long so make sure you guys are slapping the like button make sure you guys are subscribing to zishi's football if you're yet to do so um, there's already 150 people in here. We haven't even started yet. So let's get the likes up. Like count. 100 likes ASAP. So let me introduce the first winner of the week. Obviously, 2-2 two -two win against their biggest rival. Stop Liverpool from winning the league and all that. Kobe Mainu, my youngster, my star boy. Man, like Griggs is in the building. How are you doing, brother? I'm doing good. First of all, you're a fraud as usual. Not surprised. 2-2 two -two win, yada, 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 yada. All that kind of, all that kind of stuff. I'll get to Kobe Mano later with my monologue. But now, nah, hope you're doing well. Make sure you guys smash the like button, like button, all that kind of stuff. It's a nice day outside. We had that stupid solar eclipse thing that they've been gassing up for like the past week where it was dark for like, an, for like a minute. But other than that, yes, yeah, calm. Nice weather outside, finally. Summer almost here. Almost here. Oh, I thought I liked that. I got them. Maybe I like that. I'm back. Hey. Big up to you, Gregory. Um, he's top of the league. And they smashed Brighton by three goals to nil. So we introduce him next. Joining us on the channel is the biggest troublemaker in Arsenal YouTube history. You get me? He made a combined 11 with Bayern Munich. Only put four Bayern players in there. You get me? Hey. Interesting. Uh, joining us on the channel, of course. The man, the myth, the legend, brother Egal is in the building. How are you doing, brother? I there's nothing wrong with what I did. The combined eleven is very fair, and I think even Bayern fans will tell you the only players that probably get in from their team is Neuer, uh, Musiala, Kimmich, and and Alfonso Davis. That's it. Mm -hmm. I think that's fair. Fair. Fair, 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 fair. Unless unless you're telling me Sane or or Leroy Sane or one of those guys are better than Saka, I don't know. Uh, no, I, I actually, funnily enough, I actually genuinely don't rate Sane, which is might sound crazy to a lot of people, but I think... Wait, what three players you said? Four. Oh, Neuer, oh, four. Alfonso Davis, Kimmich, and Musiala. What about Harry Kane? Harry Kane, of course. What the hell? So they have five players. Wait, the calculation is wrong. Neuer, yeah, Alfonso five. Davis, Kimmich, Kane, and Musiala. Yeah, you actually gave them five players. Yeah, so I was quite fair. Wait, you think Bayern get more players in your team than Real Madrid do? Uh, no, I, I need to recalculate the Real Madrid one. <laughs> fairs. I respect that. Fairs. Fairs, 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 fairs. Can you guys um, hear me clearly, though? Because I am not yes, in my regular setup. You so you good, bro. You guys. All good, 100%. Big up to you, my guy. Yeah. Uh, joining us on the channel next is the guy that's in third place. You wouldn't know it the way he's behaving. He's acting like he's top of the league. You get me. Uh, sure. Joining us on the channel, the biggest fraud on YouTube. I told him today we cannot have massive monologues because, you know, it's like the, the last A-list that we have during Ramadan. And I like how already there's a summary of what he's going to say in the chat. We'll give Mount crop. Shouldn't have gotten rid of Mountain Halberts. Enzo and Caicedo are one of the worst midfields. What we did to Mount is a disgrace. Uh, we clapped for Cancelo because we have class and the infamous worst sporting project in, in history. You're lucky I put that up just for you, Abdi has. So make sure you're telling the people to like and subscribe. I like Hamza. How are you doing, brother? Yeah, man, I'm doing good. I'm doing good. I know you, you tried to put me down there saying, Wallahi, what a shame. <laughs> you should just sit down on the floor, Wallahi, because I hope you've read what Madrid have just said about us. I hope you've read what Casillas just said about us and said the the. City and Real Madrid are the heritage of the last 10 years of, of European football. And I can show you the quotation that this guy... I'm pretty sure he said five years, by the way, not 10. But yeah. Bro, it, it, the respect that we have from, from great players like that, 
are showing us. Oh, money can buy you this money. You're playing Europa League. <laughs> You're playing Europa League to Latvian team. Yeah, Krasnodar, Krasnodar. You're getting buses to Krasnodar. Actually, we're playing Atalanta in Bergamo, Italy. Thank you. Yeah. Very much. Okay. Fair enough. I went to Bergamo. Well, I never knew. My, well, I, my, my uncle. My aunt is married to this Italian guy. You stop saying Wallahi in Ramadan and lying. Well, that's true. Well, I'm, one second. My uncle is married to an Italian guy called Enzo. And Enzo is from is an Atlanta supporter from Bergamo. What are you talking about? You're telling me, Ed, I've traveled Europe, man. What a shameful guy. What a shameful Are you saying guy. Brexit means Brexit? Are you mocking me because I'm not European? Who? Me, you're you voted for no, Boris Johnson. What a shameful guy. Manchester City, we've been in Europe for 10 years. You can tell Igal about that. But don't tell me about European football. I'll be Atlanta. I've played Atlanta. I've been to Bergamo. I See went this? there watching Milan Inter. Oh, See there, this? You are. There, you, there you are. There you are. Don't six years. Years. Yeah, Anyway. Biggest club in, in the UCL in England. Listen, Amza, this is just the introduction. Yeah, let me introduce Lewis first. Would you, can I can I introduce Lewis first, and then you can start mocking him? Is that okay with you? Is that okay, Hamza? Thank yeah. you very much. Turning us on the channel, of course. <laughs> One of the realest ones out there. He's gonna introduce me to the basement because that's where I will be. You know, these three frauds are gonna be top row. Uh Show me around the basement, Lewis. How are you doing, brother? Hi, man. Well, welcome. Welcome to the bottom row, my friend. I've tried to decorate around here, but I'm also trying to escape. But can't get out. Can't fucking get out, even against Sheffield United. Here's good to be back. Big up to the panel. Big up to the chat. I, I have officially given up on Europe. And yeah. Yes. Up the Chels. Potch out and all of that. How can yeah. you say up the Chels yeah. after this result? Because I'll, I'll always have love for my club, even if it's run by terrorists. Fair. So rumours of an ISIS attack in London in a few days. I'm like, can you just take your owner back and just, just leave peacefully? Thank you. Okay. That's the ad revenue gone. Big up to you guys. Uh... <laughs> what? Just, really? That's the ad revenue gone, chat. You know, make sure oh, you send the good chat so we can recover. The Sorry, I punched it up early. My bad. My bad. Ad revenue is gone, chat. But, but the rumors are true. Chat, they so were we can true. We can recover what's been lost. <laughs> I have tweets as proof. Um, big up to Marius. He says, big up Hussam on the panel. Come on, you gooners. Big game tomorrow. F Bayern. We'll be there tomorrow, inshallah. I'm doing a combined watch along with Mo on, my, on This Is Football. He'll be doing one game. I'll be doing the other game. And are you watching? Which both... one are you watching? Which one are you watching? If it were up to me, I'd watch Arsenal Bayern. No, no. <laughs> I didn't ask. There's a simple question. <laughs> I didn't ask you. Can't I didn't handle look, look out. I did not know what lie. <laughs> don't don't do this kind of. Oh, we watch Arsenal Bayern. <laughs> I'm in Madrid. It's true, or I am watching Arsenal I'm in Bayern. Madrid. I'm Madrid. Listen, I'm in Madrid food. This is Madrid. <laughs> you don't have to. Bro, I've ordered What's this in Madrid. Madrid? Food? There's a What's food the in Madrid. That, bro? You've ne if you've never been here, man, I'm, to I think I'm watching Ashen. If I have the chance, I watch Ashen and Bayern. <laughs> You're shameful, I'm man. Not, I want you and Arsenal to win tomorrow. Yeah, but don't do not do this. You're watching me. Hamza, Madrid. Hamza, Hamza, you know, majority of people don't even know you're playing tomorrow. Well, I don't know you're playing. I was shocked. Most oh, people don't. I got a. Luis, I accept what? people want you to lose. People don't want you in European, European football. I swear. Lack of respect. We don't respect you. People you don't want us in Europe. We we can't get into in the places to be in, in Europe. Europe. You have nothing. You have no badge. You have no stickers. You have no chains. You have nothing. You don't you even have. You want to know? You want to know? It's funny. You oh, it's funny. to go. Okay. You want to know? It's funny. Phil Foden, world class Phil Foden, was forgotten from the world uh, from the Euro sticker calendar book. You know that sticker book that Damn. they do for the Euros? They actually didn't put Phil Foden in there. Uh, I think you should start looking for fake gas coin. That's where you can find Phil Foden. Anyway, now that we're done with this one, <laughs> no, no, I'm just, just kidding. I'm just kidding, Lord. Don't worry. Oh, okay. Thank God. Yeah, we've oh, said God, way worse. I wanted not to lose his wages for the week. Well, big, 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 big up the Super Chat Army, though. Big up the Super Chat Army. Shout out to you, Barry. Obviously, you get me. Um, exactly what Vin is doing, you know? Let's contribute to the ad one. <laughs> 
Yeah, yeah, you know what? Contribute. Yeah, because we've done up the ad <laughs> revenue. So, yeah. <laughs> Oh my god, big up to all of you guys, man. Please do like the video, please do subscribe, and let's just get this party started. I don't even know if we should start with Sheffield or we should start with, with, with Liverpool Man United. Let's just start with Liverpool United, just get it out of the way hmm. so we can talk about Chelsea Sheffield. And as I said, this week we're doing things differently, so we let Griggs talk about his win, uh, and then we take it from there. There's 310 people in the chat, so let's yeah, get to say win. We ain't even on. Yeah, he, he, every single He's time you let play <laughs> and, uh, and Liverpool don't get away with that. Win, you know? yeah. Yeah. Well, by, by the win. way, by the way, before Griggs goes, I just want to say on the record, no, this is he, was, he was on my channel a couple of weeks ago and he said, Liverpool, we got something for you. And he he wasn't wrong. You give the man his flowers. When the guy cut yeah. his chest out there, I'll throw myself on the wrong bus. I'll also say we'd get top five. We're not doing that. that. So, I'll 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 that I'll I'll one day I was wrong for the other. Briggs, you have to play yeah, listen, to listen, Hamza, for once, you have to sit there. You have to play sit. No, no, you have for to once, be fair. Yo, eat your food, bro. Eat your food. No. Eat your food. Eat your food. Eat your Madrid food. Don't give, worry about Griggs. me. You have listen, to give Griggs. Listen, hug. You have to give Griggs his flowers, bro. He helped you. You were the lowest of the low out of all three of us. Bro, I know. You. But guess what? I'm just reading post here. Rodrigo's posting a picture asking Madrid fans to wear white against Man City. It's awesome. Give it up, bro. Yeah, give it up, bro. Give it up. Worry about that later. Well, Allah, well, Allah, you know, Hamza, you know, Hamza, I just want to say this right now. Me, Igal, and yourself celebrate Eid Wednesday and Thursday, yeah? Well, you know, if you lose to Real Madrid, I will make I sure I will make... You lose to Real Madrid. No, no, one second. I will make sure I make special A-listers episode. Just to roast the shit out of you this time. I don't come from Madrid. Do they're favorites. I'm not a dog. Don't do this. Oh, now they're favorites. All this oh. shit talk. Big up to you, Herman. Here you go. Who's up in our ad revenue fund? Go fund me. Big up to you guys. Vin and Herman contributing to Vel's salary. He gets me. Shut up, Vel. One day going to make it, brother. Big up to you, Vel. Uh, by the way, I have to say special shout out to Vel. Apologies because I called him out on A-listers once and said, I don't know if he can make a thumbnail like for a pre-recorded video. And he was actually able to do it. So apologies publicly to Vel. Happy now, Vel. Your ego has been, uh, you know, <laughs> increased. Now go make the watch long thumbnail for tomorrow. Anyway, by, by the way, by the likes, way. guys, subscribe. Griggs, by talk way, to me about. Have some goddamn shame. I'm sorry. Go ahead, Hussein. La, la, let let Griggs talk. Why? Go on, Griggs. All right. So in my uh, two-two draw, because I'm not considering it a win because I didn't I didn't deliver the knockout punch that I wanted to deliver. I only I only delivered a jab yesterday. If you guys watch boxing. I I didn't deliver the knockdown punch because you still. Your, your time with Arsenal, it's only the goal difference. So you still have a realistic shot winning the league, unfortunately, for me. Because Juan Basaka wanted to dive in like a like an irrational person. Because that was a penalty. I'm not Staffy. Because I know, I know Staffy was talking about pen, yada, 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 yada. It was a penalty. He dived in for no reason. And he cost me what would have been the, the biggest monologue I would have done on this on this show. Because my first ever appearance at A-list. Let's go back. Let's go back in time. Hobbs is not the only historian that we have on A-listers. I love a little, a little bit of history myself. I liked history in high school. October, Goodison Park. There was an 18-year-old kid named Kobe Mainu. Made his made his Premier League debut. Looked absolutely amazing. Hassam asked me the day after, "Would you like to come on A-listers?" I accepted that Monday. I came, I went on A-listers and I talked about Kobe Mainu, how good he was, and I said, "Remember the name." Fast forward five uh, six months later, we are now in April 2024. Liverpool, Man United, Old Trafford. Liverpool need to need to get a win to continue their title race. Um, Hassan wants to do the underdog gimmick and that kind of stuff. It's Old Trafford. It's a tough ground to play. We're finishing third in the Premier League. All that kind of stuff. Griggs, you know Kobe I'm Mainu. not going to interrupt you, but don't waffle. I didn't do gimmick. I predicted this. Hey, pred I, pre I predict stuff too. Don't worry, bro. But sometimes it is a gimmick. And I'll admit, when I do predictions, it's a gimmick sometimes too. But anyway, Kobe Mainu. He didn't have the best of games, I'm not going to lie. It was very poor in the first half. But what do, what do special players do? They make special plays. And he received the ball at the edge of the box, to, went in, curled, cut inside, and curled one top bins on your football club. So when I told you to remember the name, I hope if you do not win this league title and you lose it by a single point, or even if you lose it on goal difference, which would be just that much more sweeter if you lose it on goal difference. So you can feel my pain that I felt in 2011 when I lost to Hamza's club on goal difference. I hope... After the Luis Diaz decision that happened at Spurs, I hope the second name you remember is Kobe Mainu and when he put that ball top bins against you at Old Trafford. I really hope you remember that. I really do. But now, nah, yeah, shout out Kobe Mainu. I told you people, I know I know a talent when I see one. And I, there's not a lot of good talents in my football club. But when you compared him to the likes of Federico Makeda, Adnan Yanuzai, all those kind of players that we've had in the past, 
Respect David my boy, Bellion. bro. David Bellion. They, bro, Jemba, Jemba, all them dudes, bro. Mm. Overtown, all them dudes that, that came through my football yeah. club. Bro. I know a special talent when I see one, and Kobe Manu is a special talent, and he's him because he can have the worst of games, but special make special players make special plays. As for the rest of my team, for that game, their first half was an absolute disgrace. This, this Hamza guy wants me to come out here and praise Ten Hag when I had zero shots in the first half. I had zero shots in the first half at Old Trafford in the Big Six game. That's an absolute disgrace. Our team was obviously, I think, was a little bit uh, legless from the Chelsea game. Played 105 minutes, four games, four, four days later, we had to play another game at a high intensity. And we were poor. Shout out Kwanzaa. Good for him uh, for giving us that assist. And I am so happy that ball fell to Bruno because he's the only person on human earth, on the earth, that would attempt a shot in that instance. Van Dijk was actually backing up, thinking that Bruno was going to dribble. Van Dijk, you got to read the scouting report. Bruno doesn't dribble. All he does is blast the ball. And Bruno blasted it into the net. Good for him. But in terms of that, I thought second half, we played a little bit better. We had a little bit better patterns of play. We're getting a little bit better on the counterattack. I thought Rashford had a good game. I don't know why people were saying that he wasn't good yesterday. He's really good off the ball, which you guys criticized for him all the time. And he had a couple good crosses. Casemiro did good defensively. He had a lot of slide tackles that were looking good. On the on the ball, he's he's absolutely gash. The guy doesn't know how to complete a short pass. It's absolutely – Hamza has better technical ability than Casemiro half the time anyway. Um, yeah. What else? Well, what else was, I thought Diogo Dalo was good. Uh, good to see him uh, look better after Cole Palmer kind of rinsed him on Did Thursday. Did you say Hamza has more technical ability than Casemiro? Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. Bro, I, I, yo, have you seen Casemiro? It's easy, man. What's going on? That's how he spoke at your goal, man. Come Yo, Casemiro can't do that. He tried that yesterday. He didn't get the ball. Remember that Rashford cross where Casemiro tried to toe poke it? It didn't work. Um, but yeah, I thought Dalo was good and also made me question. Obviously, we didn't have a listers after the Chelsea game, but why that? Why did Dalo play left back against Chelsea and not right back when right back is his best position? Why are we taking players out of their best position to do matchups? Because what were you, what are you afraid of, Ten Hag? Mudrick. No one on planet on the planet Earth is afraid of Mikhailo Mudrik. No one, literally, no one is afraid of him. So why did you put Dalo at left back against Cole Palmer when you could just put Juan Bissaka, who's a better one v one defender typically than Dalo, and do all that kind of stuff? But anyway, that game is all forgotten because Chelsea. We'll talk about that later. But I thought United were solid. Uh, Liverpool were the better team. I know Hassan's gonna cook his own team, but I just gotta talk about a couple people. Uh, Mohamed Salah. This is meant to be the best forward in the Premier League. He's deserved. He's deserved that right. He's earned that status. But I think he was absolutely terrible yesterday. And out of the, all your three forwards, Luis Diaz, Darwin Nunes, and Mohamed Salah, he's the one that needs to take the biggest burden because he is a superstar on that team. When you're the biggest player in the club, you're the, you're the one that has to take the most responsibility. That comes with the accountability of being the best player on the team. And he was absolutely terrible yesterday. He was blasting the ball to Rosette every single time. So I thought he was terrible. Darwin Nunes was terrible. Luis Diaz was mid. And your midfield, I thought McAllister was okay, but... Endo was okay. Job is lie. I'm sure Hassan, I'll let you cook him. That's your boy. But Hungarian Steven Gerrard, that's what I heard them call him. That's, that's what I heard, bro. Brother, Hungarian let's not do that. Let's not do that. That's what I heard. That's what I heard the Liverpool people yeah, say, that's bro. What people I ever were said. saying that at the beginning of the season. That's what, I never said you said. That's why I said I'm going to let you cook him. That's why I'm going to let you cook him. That's your that's your play. Um, and who else? I thought your defense was solid. And Keller here. I don't... I think maybe Allison could have actually saved that Bruno shot because Keller here actually almost got his fingertips on it. Even though it was outside the box, he would have gotten sent off. But... I think you look a little bit more, what's it called? A little, more, little bit more vulnerable in defense now without Allison. Obviously, Keller Hare had a little bit good, a little good run of form, but obviously you're missing your best goalkeeper. So obviously you still have a couple of those injuries. Trent as well. I thought Connor Bradley was okay, but yeah, you just didn't take your opportunities. And in three games against Manchester United this year, you've had 90 shots. You've managed to score five goals on like eight XG. And that just proves to me that last year, and that 7 0, I was right all along. It was David De Gea's fault for that whole thing because Onana has faced 90 shots this year against Liverpool and he's only conceded five. Meanwhile, David De Gea oh last year on God. 2XG conceded seven. So I was right all along. The guy's a fraud. It was all his fault. The guy couldn't save anything. He was getting chipped near post. While Onana yesterday was amazing for the most part, he spilled a couple shots. But and then the last but not least, I got to big up one last player, Willie Kwambwala, my boy, La Carrington, I like to call my academy. Liverpool fans can have all their kids that they had in the cup final, La Axa, as they call their academy. There's two academies in the country that are really good. Cobham used to be part of that. Lewis, I'm sorry, but your academy's kind of falling off the cliff. There's two academies. City, uh, City's Academy. 
and then there's also United Academy. Those I'm two are the best academies currently. My academy has done four in a row, boy. Oh. And that's why I said, that's why I give you respect. Your, I give the respect to your academy. My academy's my still academy. got a bit of life. It's only been a couple years. Four in a row. That's why I said, right? They're going off a little bit of a cliff. Maybe, maybe you get a little bit of a renaissance. Maybe you get the renaissance. But right now, the renaissance hasn't arrived yet. But your academy is your rule team, Louis. What? Your academy is your rule team. That eight year contract and Cole Palmer and all that stuff. That's your academy. Yeah, that's the academy. That's your academy. Your youngsters I'm that you I'm bought. talking about Cobb, the players, that, like the players that we bought. Uh, I'm yeah, not I'm gonna lie. Here. Why are we gloating? Why are we gloating about academies when in actual reality, yes, City is the best academy right now. Chelsea probably have the most active players that are playing. I can't big on my, in, can't big on my top, academy. My academy, top. my academy is a big part of my I culture. don't think I don't think Manchester United's Academy has been like that good. In, in a while, let's not let's not make it seem like you guys have been hold on, hold on, hold on, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. First of all, my academy produced Marcus Rashford, who's been one of the most productive forwards in the past five years huh? in the English League. Second of all, my academy produced Alejandro Garnacho in the past 12 months, and he's proven to be a good asset. He's from he's Atletico Madrid. Kobe Mane. He came what? from Atletico Madrid at the age of 16. No, 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 we want to get into this uh, because he did not, he not went, true. he played in the academy he's for Man United. For he made his senior debut for Manchester United. He's an he 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 academy he graduate. We didn't buy him from Atletico, though. Yeah. But we didn't give him a pro contract. He did, he did, he came on a scholarship. His first professional contract in the sport of football Bro. was with Manchester United. He was, was not with Atletico Madrid. youngster at 16. Nearly seven. And he moved to United at sixteen. But he's not your uh, academy. Academy. Bro, yes, no, he is. He I'm came just, from my academy. Just, he graduated I, from my one academy. Second, one second. One second. I'm oh. not belittling Manchester United's academy. I'm just simply saying to say you're up there with City and to in overlook Chelsea and to overlook I, I other think, academies. I think I said of... in the past couple of years. I think Chelsea's academy. Bro, who was the last academy part? Yeah, a, a couple of years ago we won the UCL with like six academy players. Oh, yo, if this was like three years ago, I would have said Chelsea's the best by uh, by a country mile. It can't change three. like that over a few years. So yeah, yeah your academy ain't top three, bro. What? Yeah, no. the top three academies are on the panel already. City, Arsenal, and Chelsea. That's the top three. Who? Yes, Arsenal. Yeah, I did, I Get the Arsenal, yeah. Arsenal, no, first of Arsenal, all, what the hell Arsenal, Arsenal in the academy scene to be again. considered a top Arsenal, three academy? Arsenal what? might not produce. Arsenal Bukayo might not Saka. produce a bunch of players that play in the first team, but we have a lot of players that are playing across the whole top. Uh, top and guess who has the most of players in the top five leagues from academy? It's Manchester United. Check that off. It's, it's Manchester not. The top oh, five leagues. Oh, in the Premier God. League, it's Manchester oh, United. We have players in their academy from what? Oh, my God. I thought it was Tahit us. Tahit Shaw, Ted Mengi. Dwight McNeil, all those guys are from Carrington. You only have the highest count. Oh my God, my guy is counting 20. Dwight McNeil's 32 Bro, years old. Should I count Eze? Should I count Eze? Yeah. Oh, no, no, you cannot count Eze because he didn't graduate Eze. from your academy. He didn't graduate from your academy. That's Once not what academy is. That's not what I'm talking about. Chelsea, you can say Chelsea because they have Mark Wecky, they have Mason Mount, all those guys. You Why can't he count that. Eze, but you can count Garnacho? How does that make sense? Because Garnacho signed a professional contract. His first professional and contract. And you bought me from Madrid so It's your day. Enjoy it. Um, I, I don't know if it's bugging, but it looks like Liverpool have the most academy players. Who the hell do they well, have? I'm saying. Anyway. Oh, Liverpool's academy they got ten, nine, one, ten former two. academy players playing. No, but you see, Griggs, the difference between... No, they introduced like seven hundred this year. Well. I don't use the magic. Oh wow! So they just scammed it like that. Okay, fair enough. I don't. Nah, I mean, just it. because Martin Dude, Kelly plays for Crystal Palace alone, doesn't mean they have a good. What I tried to do for yes, this program, season, I was alone. trying to big up my academy for for the way that they're starting to produce a little bit more talent players like Willy Kambala, who did absolutely. Oh no, no, no! Yeah. It's academy you players at the same you? club. You my bad, it's the wrong one. I'm gonna say this. I don't think it's too early to say that. Uh, what do you call it? Kobe Mane is a generational talent. Oh my god, no, 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 no. Like, no, I don't no, listen to what I said. Listen to what I said. Talent, it go. He's showing, it goes. Stop he's showing it. Don't, already. Don't, don't, it go. He's don't. showing already. It go. Our nine is a generational talent. Our nine, don't one use this. Don't guy. I don't think he's generational. It go. So many, there's only one generational talent. I can take you to he's definitely not generational. Bro, anyway, bro, the only generational midfielder in world football is, there is Pedri. Anybody, I think Pedri was the only one that was anybody who, Who's Kobe Manu's age that's playing right now in any top five? Zaire Emery. Zaire Emery. Igal, you know this is this okay, is my thing. Gabi. Let me let me Gabi. let me just say one thing. I mean, only one. Means better than Gabi. How old? How old is Guys, guys, let me let me just say one thing quickly. 
So sorry, sorry, have to say this is exactly Billy why is young academy players get cooked when we start overdoing shit. He is not not anyway. One second, one second, Greg, one second. Okay. Generational, in my opinion, this is just my opinion, and I think I it's mind. a word that's defined differently. How do you define it? Once I in a the they don't come. I think, I think Phil Foden is generational. No, even on him, no. <laughs> not even him. No, he's not. There's because only one generational Gilchrist. talent in the I, I Premier League, and that's Alfie Gilchrist, R9. mate. I use R9 stuff. Okay, have some I, shit. Have oh, second, look at Hamza. I think there is two generations. You're not Alfie Gilchrist. Next JT, man. Come on. Oh, so half our fan base is saying. That, 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 that guy would be lucky to play for Burnley. In there, there's two generational players in the English Premier League, in my opinion, and that's Foden and Trent. You should generation. clip that and put on Lewis, uh, me, uh, Carefree me, Lewis. Uh, me, I believe you. Yeah, there's no generational player. You oh, have to be hell no. Oh, hell no. Once in a lifetime. Well, but no, you could call him a new generation. There's nothing he's doing that's like that unbelievable. Bro, no, you, okay, I'm you just simply. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, okay. now you want to. Oh, one second. Oh, 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 one second. Let me, oh, 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 let me rephrase. So when someone scores a goal, they had a good game. No, no, that's not why. Why? You have a good game. My my no, let's forget about it. that's not just but that's not he goals. He's an 18 year old midfielder who's playing in a midfield him. full of trash. I, I always I always viewed I always viewed generational as in you're the best of your like age group. No, that's not how gen. No. Yeah, that's no, why I said it should be once time. in a generation type player, like someone that you that you see once in a generation. We'll see okay, more. So then names. so then let me rephrase it. He's the best in he's one of the best in his age group. There's no. only one player that's probably showing there's... that he's better than him right now. I've said this. I've said this. I said you. You can only bring me one midfielder in Manu's age group, and I'll listen wow. to the beat. Manu, and that's more anxiety. Everyone else, I don't care about. Is you there anybody in his age group that is actually playing professional football at a high level? Nye Emery and Archie Gray for Leeds. He's playing in the, in the championship. Wow, he was He's born two months before Liverpool won the Champions League. That's crazy. But anyway, but yeah, Kobe Mano, I don't think Kobe Mano is generational, but I think he will end up being a world-class player. But back to my academy and all that kind of stuff. Willie Kwambala had an excellent game yesterday in uh in deputy. He obviously had a couple of injuries and it just shows, but that he had a good and I, for Ten Hag now, I will give him to this. You better start him for the rest of the Premier League season because there's nothing to fight for in the Premier League. So let me see what he can do and if he needs a loan or if he can be part of this team next year. Because like I said, we don't have anything to fight for in the Premier League. Top five is gone. We're probably going to end up finishing six because every team below us doesn't are unserious individuals as teams. So the only thing I have left to fight for is the FA Cup. So you can do your full starting 11 in those games and against Coventry and then hopefully Chelsea in the final because I want to see them in the final. Obviously, I don't want to see Manchester City. Fast. So... Because I have also... Now, nah, we'll get to each other. But yeah, I think Kambalo is good. I'm happy for him. And yeah, man, Carrington to the moon. I said, though, like, I will like Carrington my left because when United are bad, you always have an academy product to come through the squad and always uplift me. It used to be, it was Marcus Strashrick almost, was it, nine years ago? It was number 11, obviously, four or five years ago, but obviously due to off the field issue, we're not going to talk about that. And now it's Kobe Manu. And I don't know what the next one's going to be. It might be a, like a Shea Lacey that's coming through the academy. There's a, there's a lot of players coming through, and we hired, we've hired good people. I know Hamza knows the name, Jason Wilcox. He used to um, yeah, yeah, Jason your football Wilcox club. Used to play for Blackburn Rovers. He was a and bum. He, was my and, academy. I chucked him out Southampton because he was not good enough. And no, no, okay, don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Because well, you, did, gonna, you know what? Because he's, he's a player. He's a player that he discovered he, that you like to pick up, right? Oscar Bob. Oscar Bob, right? Well, he signed Oscar Bob. Before and also, Luke Mbete. He picked up players like Luke Mbete. Those no, he also picked up Oscar Bob and Romeo no, Lavia as well. From Norway. He also picked Yo, up Romeo Lavia. Can I just? He took Lavia to Southampton with him. Anyway. Can, I, can I go next on this one quickly? But yeah, I just yeah, want to yeah, say yeah, thank yeah, you. I, I want to Greg, but I'll let you go. You go. It, was a good, it was a good result, and Liverpool, I hope that you don't win the league. I, Ooh, I hope his hands off at the end man. of the season. Go on, Egal. Thank you, Gregs. Thank you, Manchester United fans. Thank you, Manchester You're United. Welcome. Thank you, Ten Hag. Thank you, uh, Bruno Fernandes. Thank you, Kopi Mainu. And thank you, Kwanzaa, for squandering Liverpool's chances of winning the league. I genuinely believe Liverpool dropping those points and now taking away their opportunity of having control of their own destiny now puts on puts them under more pressure with the injuries that they currently have and the way that they're playing. If they continue to play this way going forward for the remaining games and they don't turn their form around, I could see them dropping way more points and then falling out of the out of this title race completely. Now, I, of course, we don't know that. So let's just stick up, let's just stick to this game. And what we do know, what we know is Liverpool this season have not beaten either City or Arsenal. They've drawn in those games. The only team they've beaten out of the top six is, of course, Chelsea. 
And you want to know something? You got to give them credit because even though they've had all these injuries and everything else, they've stayed, they've stood, they've stayed up there. But it's very interesting when you look at their defense as of late in the turn of the new year with their injuries and everything that's going on. They've really their defensive record has 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 gone down the window. And also, the one thing that they could always rely on is their goals. Goals were coming from everywhere. Now those goal scorers are starting to miss guilt as chances. Even even their main man. Is some is somewhat struggling over the last couple of games, where he's taking a record number of shots, and he's not fin- and he's not putting them in the back of the net. So I'm seeing Liverpool regress back to to like I wouldn't say the mean because they're still better than majority of teams in the league. It's just they're showing a little bit of regression. They're showing that they, yeah, a little bit more of vulnerabilities. And when you have late winners versus Nottingham Forest, when you have late winners versus all these teams, and you're and you're willing your way to victories, it's all great. But when you start to see those same issues and it leads to drop points, you start to draw back and look at them and say, hmm, were we always seeing these signs but we just never spoke about them because they were winning? And I'm starting to think, yo, Liverpool, I think your chances for winning this league are slowly, slowly drifting away. And 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 that Liverpool, that sit, we could look back at that Kwanzaa pass to Bruno Fernandes and it could potentially be a, a similar moment to, dare I say, Gerard Slip. Okay, now, uh, you know, let me just speak on this game. First of all, you know, I have to say uh, how the mighty have fallen. Ten years ago, Griggs was celebrating Premier Leagues. Now he's celebrating a 2-2 draw with all his might against... Uh... Go on, copy Staffy, do this. Go on, do it. Well, learn how to be a hater. You can't I got to teach him a lesson in hating 101. Griggs, My did life... I interrupt you 17 minutes more? No, no, no. About the draw. Yeah, I mean, a little you. bit. There were parts, parts of it where you spoke a little bit. You're, you're going to interrupt me. Anyway, how the mighty have fallen, guys. Ten years ago, if I started YouTube and I was doing a show with a United fan, he'd be telling me about winning the Premier League, winning the Champions League in Moscow, how Alex Ferguson is the greatest manager to ever exist, Cristiano Ronaldo is the best player in the world, and all this. And now they're out here celebrating a 2-2 draw. First of all, I don't even know what... I generally don't even know what game Griggs was watching. Talking about this player was good, that player was good. Brother, ain't no player you had was good. Our players just couldn't finish our chances. This is just the ultimate reality. In the first half, we had about 15 shots. You had zero shots. Had we scored the the 700 goals that we were supposed to score in the first half, this game would have been over. Would have been four 0 at the first half. So you come tell me this guy played good and that guy played good, bro. Mainu, just don't be a GA merchant. Just because Mainu I... scored a goal does not mean that he had a good game. Yes, the goal was fantastic. It was phenomenal. His role is a midfielder. His role is not to score goal. Uh, you know, even Kambwala, whoever you want to mention. The only guy you could say even had a good game, to be honest, is Onana because he stopped a couple of, you know, guilt head opportunities. The one from Toboslai I thought was a good save. The one from Salah, the, the cutback shot was a good save. But other than that, the reality is Manchester United were absolutely dreadful yesterday. Liverpool just couldn't take their chances. This is just the ultimate reality. It's not an agenda. It's not, it's not me being salty or whatever. This is just a fact. I said it will be the forward line that let us down. They did let us down. And I predicted a 2-2, not because I'm doing a narrative, not because I'm doing any of this agenda shit, because I genuinely believe it. And this, and I don't think we're going to win the league for this exact reason. I said there is nothing stopping this from happening over and over again. And it's the same shit with the City game. Who was the only Liverpool YouTuber to come on this application and say the draw at Anfield was not a good result? I used a magic word called margin of error. The margin of error is now zero. And furthermore, it's out of our hands. It's funny because all the people who were... It's a good result against City. We dominated City with all these injuries. The happy clappers. Spam happy clappers in the chat. I don't see any of those names in this chat right here. Where are they? Disappeared. Gone. I'm not going to expose anyone, but you know, I've been getting dissertation messages how... YouTube isn't for certain people, and now they've disappeared. AKA, Hussam, you were right, but I'm so egotistical, I'm not going to say that you were right. That's basically what happened. Ladies and gentlemen, the only way Liverpool Football Club win the league is if the other two drop points. Simple, period. It's just as simple as that. Do I see Arsenal dropping points the way that they're playing? No. Do I see City dropping points the way they're playing? No. Do I see Liverpool dropping points from out of the season again? Yes. The reason why I see them dropping points is this forward line don't have killers there is no killers if i took 1920 mane just that version of sadio mane brought him in this team liverpool football club would have beaten man united by four now. 
He's gonna apologize. Just in the, I've already said that. But there's a difference between me saying I want like Mane is better than Diaz, I and you telling realize, me he carried Liverpool. There's a massive difference. He he didn't he didn't uh, carry it. And and this guy's saying Hussam's right, and I hate it. You think I like it? I hate it too. What you what you think I want to say Liverpool can't win the league? And for all the people who say you know Hussam is covering his ass and he doesn't want to cook and all this shit. Bro, I said on, on, you can ask Egal, he's known me the longest here. Two years ago on the terrace, I went and I said Liverpool are going to win the league and win the Champions League. It's not a matter of there is no chess or any of this dumb shit that people like to say over and over again. We simply aren't it's ruthless. Real, we don't have killers. What is stopping us? Simple question to everyone in the chat who believes Liverpool are going to win the league. What is stopping Liverpool from going away to Aston Villa, having 75% possession, 30 shots and drawing 1-1? Nothing. What is stopping this from happening against Spurs at home? Nothing. What's stopping this from happening against Everton away? Nothing. Said no, but point is coming back. Alice point is coming back. So I just think the, the forward line aren't truthless enough. Jot is back, but Jot is made from Weetabix, unfortunately. No, but Hussam, you know? I was speaking to Ram the other day. He was telling me Jot is coming back. Ra uh, uh, yeah, but Ram's is coming back. Coming Trent is coming back. You're crazy to write off Liverpool. So why are you writing off your own team? This is exactly what I'm saying. Should have won that City game at home. People are waking up now, finally, but you're waking up too late. Because when I say that they called me toxic and negative, it is what it is. I'm not writing off Liverpool. Uh, I say, you know, the same way I said we're third favourites. Everyone laughed at me just because we were top. It does not mean that I think we're going to win the league. So, um, I think City are still the favourites because they have the easiest run in. My opinion on that has not changed. I still give City a... 45% chance of winning the league. I give um, Arsenal a 30%. Actually, I'd go 35% chance of winning the league. And I'd give us a 20% chance. And the only way is 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 if the other two three teams drop points, which is exactly why tomorrow, inshallah, I'm going to be there supporting Arsenal and supporting Man City because the only hope in hell we have is if they have more Premier League fixtures and have a bigger chance of dropping points. That's it. Um in terms of criticizing players before people come here and start jerking off in the chat. Oh my God, Hussam doesn't criticize Salah. I've criticized Salah a hundred times already. It's just boring at this point. Liverpool Football Clubs, the only two players that deserve credit yesterday were Elliot and McAllister. Elliot came on, took risks, made, gave us a little bit of a spark. The rest was you were, were all shit. Soboslai, for me, people like to pinpoint Salah. Soboslai was the worst player on the pitch for us. Andy Robertson hit the first man on every single one of his crosses. This guy, it's 2024 club. It's time to let go. I get it. He's your son. It's time for Simikas to just to just, just step up. It's time for Simikas because I've been saying Simikas should start every single time. I've been saying the same shit. I'm going to tell you he won you the Champions League. The, please, let's not even go there. What a joke. Please. I can't wait to rebut that statement. That one is, second, one second, Hamza. That they is hit. a shameful say, statement. One second, Hamza. I'm almost done and then I'm going to oh, come okay, to you. Don't worry. Let's I'm going to come to you. I'm almost done. So... Yeah, Robertson hit first man after first man oh after first man. God. Salah was poor. Uh, Diaz was poor. Nunez was poor. I don't care about telling me, oh, Diaz dribbled past the player three times. You could shove your dribbles where the sun don't shine. All three of them were not good. All three of them missed chances. All three of them made horrible decisions. Cody Gakpo, they literally clipped me up, even though I'm not on Twitter. Posted me on Twitter because he scored the header against Sheffield. Clip me up now. Tell me what Cody Gakpo done when it counted. In an important away game against Manchester United. Oh, yes. Finish the sentence. He did absolutely nothing. So, our forward line was dreadful. Soboslai was dreadful in that game. And Kwanza made a mistake, but he's a youngster. Uh, Konate should have started. Someone tell me he's not fit, but he's on the bench. If he's fit to be on the bench, he's fit to start. Anyway, before we let Hamza speak for 20 minutes, I want to get Lewis's thoughts first, because Lewis doesn't speak as long as you, Hamza. So, let's just go to Lewis. Tell me your thoughts on the game before we let Hamza, quote-unquote, cook. Yeah, like a bit disappointing from both sides, but obviously United will be more happy with the results because they probably expected to lose this one. The big, the biggest shock for me was that I, I expected Liverpool to come into this game with like a little bit more intense, especially the way that they got knocked out by United at Old Trafford. And it was a very similar 11. I think it was only Bradley for Gomez that I think was the change. Yeah. So I, I thought there'd be a little bit of difference. And like the first half, they would. Bar the first five, ten minutes, like Liverpool, the better team. C they were creating more. They were dominating more at the set pieces. First goal came from a set piece, which looked like it was coming from that. And then they just got complacent again. 
again and like the attack was just doing the same thing they did last time where they were just being very wasteful and Man United capitalized obviously off a Kwanzaa mistake and just a good moment of magic from Mino but like they still capitalized off it and Liverpool didn't look like coming back until they got a penalty like that's the bigger shock for me. I thought coming back a couple weeks after getting knocked out at Old Trafford, you lot would be hungry. You lot would be desperate to make to make a statement of Man United, especially with this being Klopp's last trip to OT. It was kind of the same Liverpool. I think really the same Liverpool from um, a couple weeks ago. And like that was the bigger shock to me. I thought, Rah, they did it twice. That's why I was like, I get you with the title hopes and everything, because you had the opportunity to right the wrongs, win by a couple goals. You were playing the United side that didn't even have a shot in the first half. And then just the same old deflation. The same old deflation. So I rate that you've been consistent. The only real bants I have to say is that everyone else has won here against United, except you. And I do feel really glad to be in that conversation at long last. But yeah, like you, with you, you just have pure vindication at this point. And also, I'm not really in a position to cook people. So yeah, I'm I'm really shocked at the way Liverpool handled that second half. I'd be a little bit more concerned with the games coming up because you can throw the first game out to complacency and say, you know what, you just got used to being dominant over Man United and you let it get to your head. You did it twice. Yeah, that's not good. But... See what happens in the next few weeks. You're still a good enough team. You've still stayed within the title race, even if your top six record isn't isn't bad. And yeah, like whatever it is what it is. But yeah, you you got you really need a better attacking line next season. You see, Lewis is conflicted because he needs either City or Liverpool to win this league. So he's like anything but Arsenal. ABA, bro, anything but Arsenal. <laughs> but I, I still believe in City. I still believe in City. They just need to get out of one of those com competitions, preferably the FA Cup. Wow. Yeah. So is everyone that... out on Liverpool? Yeah. So basically, I just want to say, listen, guys. By the way, like and subscribe. Seven hundred people in here. We're not even even on two hundred likes. So I just you're say, worse I said... than the Liverpool forwards at the chat. Yeah. You bunch of Diaz's wanna... and Salas I, I, and. I, I, and I'll explain you about Liverpool. Yeah, be more like. Can you tell them to like yeah. the video? These frauds. Like the video and subscribe. Like the video and subscribe, yeah. Because later I'm gonna show you what live before. If you don't like the video by the end of the main was life, that's what you gotta be, man. Listen, yeah, like the, the video, thing man. is, the thing is, the thing is, yeah, it's so shameful that they all well, like they should be ashamed of themselves, live for fans. Like yeah, they talked about seven no <laughs> beating the Champions Cup, well, like, and they didn't do anything. Yeah, yeah this, they talked about revenge the, yesterday, <laughs> they didn't do anything. Bro, you're frauds. You're a bunch of frauds. Your era is just going to come to an end in two months' time. Enjoy your one month left. <laughs> Enjoy your one month left because you and Lewis will be spending time. You need to ask advice from Lewis. How are you going to be talking on this show? How are you going to be spending time sitting bottom of the panel every day? Just Why am I getting trades? I'm going to be hosting section. Your show. Some, I'll be hosting your show at the top here every day. Me and Igo. Igo, we're here next day, bro. Me and you are top. Man, relax, you go. We ain't going down. You and Lewis are sitting down there in your own show every week. People will say, Hamza, this is football. It's yours or it's Hamza. I'll take over. I'm taking over. This is football. Like and subscribe. I'm taking over. He's only got four to six weeks left. Yeah? Embarrassing. You said, oh, we're going to dunk United. Who? Look at the defense they're missing. You celebrated. You celebrated that defender. Who's that defender that came off injured? Who's that guy? The guy, Banza? the guy's got lanky leg. You defend a Man United fan. Who's that lanky oh. leg guy? Come the on. defender that came out injured uh, against Chelsea. Varane Ooh, came out injured. Varane, Varane and came Evans. Out Who's the other Varane defender? And that Varane and Evans got injured on Thursday. Evans, yeah, Johnny Evans. When they celebrate, oh, I can't believe it. We're playing Maguire and Kambawala. We're going to hit them so nice. It's going to be revenge. This is going to be an easy one. I want to prop. They were talking like this. Yeah? Oh, what was Klopp doing? He was coming out there, giving interviews. Talk. He thought it's already set up. Your boys failed. Kenny Daglish. Kenny Daglish. Steven Gerrard. John Barnes. Yeah? 
Alec, whatever it is, all those guys were watching that game. Your boys took a beating nearly from United. Your own football club with a heritage that you got the chicken there. Doesn't scare anyone. <laughs> My mom said, don't be scared of chickens, man. I said, don't be scared. Any bag that's got chicken. I'm not scared. I'm not scared. I'm scared of guns, like gunners. Yeah, I'm scared of that. Yeah, I'm scared of my badges. Yeah, but your badge is nothing. Red Devil scares me. Your badge doesn't scare me. Yesterday's game was appalling. And let me talk about yesterday's game. Yeah, yesterday's game, the worst player on the pitch, to me, I feel, first, Mo Salah should be ashamed of himself. Ashamed of himself. The reason why, he had all the hype, but you know what? Have the good take lip ready. One second, one second. Mo Salah should be ashamed because there's a reason why Liverpool haven't, they don't win games sometimes. His selfishness. He's selfish in front of goals. He's so self-oriented. It has to be me. I'm not going to pass. I'm not going to. And I remember how many times I used to see Mane is in the box. Lay out for him. And he would never lay Mane. Because you wanted Liverpool to be remembered as a Salah. Yeah? But guess what? It might be a season that if he doesn't win the league, he'll be asked question that he's responsible because Diego Jota gave him the bat. Say, yo, you're injured. You went for your country. You faked, you tried it and you didn't want to stay with your country. You refused to stay with your boys, Egypt, al Masr. Yeah. Egypt, heritage. You refused to stay with them and you say, I'm going to Liverpool with the medical team. I'm going to get a good medical treatment. You refuse, you ran away from your country to come to Liverpool. Yeah. When Diego Jota was carrying Liverpool, Diego Jota was carrying your football club. Diego Jota has been a better player than Mo Salah. Fact. When I tell me I'm wrong, I'm wrong. Diego Jota has been carrying them. Diego Jota, play bro, Salah is not important than Diego Jota. Fact. No, no, no. Bro, you're going no. too far. You go. You go. Diego Jota is Liverpool. Hamza. You That's know, like you, saying... you, see, you see, the problem with you, you believe Salah has cost them the last couple of games. If Diego Jota plays yesterday, Liverpool win. If Diego Jota plays... You can say the same thing about Alvarez and Haaland. They win. Fact. I'm telling you now. Fact. 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 If Diego Jota played Sheffield United, he had a stinker. How many games does Salah has a stinker? Guess what? Your manager can't drop him. He's bigger than your football club. I'm, I'm telling you now, I've never seen Salah dropped. He's that powerful. That's why you're scared to call him out. And a lot of your families are scared to call him out. You know what? Salah wasn't good enough. I literally called him out when I spoke. No, but he was the worst player on the pitch. Nah, you know, he came out. You know let me tell you. In, yeah, if you're going to blame Robertson, let me give statistics. I've got statistics here. I've got it here. Simicas versus Robertson. I've got it here. You want to talk about these stats? You no, I don't want to talk about these stats. No, 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 one second. Play, no. Robertson, 17 games. Simicas, 12 games. Minutes played both yeah, nights. That's why the stats will not be true. percent shot games. accuracy. Simicas, 0% shot accuracy. Goals, 0 0.1. Simicas, 0. Conversion rate, 20%. Simicas, One guy zero. played 17 one games. The other guy second. played 4. One second. One second. Look at your boy Simicas, the failure. How do you yeah? compare statistically a guy that's played 17 games to a guy who's played four? 17 and 12 games. 12 games. There you so I'm not lying. Games. I haven't played 12 games. Bro, there you are. Am I lying? So, guys, am I lying? Look at the stats. Yeah, and you're not putting it per 90 either. Okay, no, no. There you are. I'm doing per 90. And do you even know what conversion No, no, one second. Means? No, no, no. One second. You know what Let, me rate means. Let me finish. It's per 90, bro. Yeah. Open play passes 61.1. Open play for Simicas, 35. Chances created, 3. Simicas, 1.2. Yeah? Let me continue. Still starts continue. You want a guy who's a bum, yeah? Passes attempted, 63. Simicas, 35. Passing accuracy, 87%. Simicas, 84. Long passes accuracy, again, Robertson has above him. Crosses attempted, 9.5. Crosses attempted, 9.1. Crosses completed that is successful, six. Crosses completed, 0 0.5. Crosses accuracy, 35% nearly. Crosses accuracy, 
mid 20s see me cuz don't bring a guy who's a bum respect your legends man Res i've got statistics here i got this you come out here you lie to your people because i planned i was ready for you i know how much you rate here robertson i know how and i can continue yeah Simica's statistics are worse than Robertson. Robertson is a threat than Simica's. I swear to God, I have never gone to bed and think, oh, Simica's playing. Oh, will I play, play Simica's? He's crap. He's useless. He's a Wolves type of player. He's a Wolves level of player. Eight Nuri, yeah, is better than him. Eight Nuri is better than Simica's. Fact. Tell me I'm lying. Yeah, respect Robertson. Respect Robinson. I'm, I'm telling you now, you can't come out here. Say this is the reason we you can't have an agenda on certain players and, and protect Mo Salah. Mo Salah cannot be and it is I've criticized him. He missed open chances. Who's protecting him when I said he was you talk, very about, you talk about Harlan missing and you laughed at him. You showed a video of Harlan doing pass <laughs> last week. I looked at this <laughs> your guy at the <laughs> Mo Salah had a stinker. Mo Salah, your forward line are so bad. They're so shocking. I need a word of advice of your guys, Sam. Your forward line, yeah? They're stiff. This, then, bro, relax in front of goal, man. Relax, Mo Salah. You couldn't do your country. You couldn't even do it for your country. This year, you couldn't even do it for Liverpool. Harvard's my win Arsenal the league. <laughs> and you could be the one that's responsible for Liverpool losing the league. Again, Didn't you, actually, you we took more points of Arsenal as well. It's How many point. games have Mo Salah played with Mane? He's through on goal. Well, he doesn't pass to him. I've seen it. Firmino is a great pass. Oh, Mane. He'd still be going. Salah, everyone knows selfish. Everyone knows selfish. It's going to be a long day, man. You know, one second. Your forward line, or something? yeah. Logo. He's only ten minutes in. Your forward line. I knew I'd have enough time to make already. my chicken up the show. He told us he speaks ten minutes. Your forward line, your forward line, or some are so poor. I feel sorry. Your strikers are the one. Yeah, I'm a waffler. Let me show you what you, they need to do. They need to do yoga. Hmm. See this? Get them this. Say yoga. Hola, this is a new moment. Clip this, guys. Darwin Nunes needs to do yoga. Relax. Yo, hey, yo, go, bro. relax. Lad, don't talk, don't talk. Relax. You see what I'm trying to say? Relax. In front of goal. Bro, place it. No need to fight with the ball. No need. Relax, man. No need to jump like... Why are you jumping like a duck? Why are you jumping, bro? The ball's there. Simple, bro. Place it. Place it. Touch. Touch. That's what I'm saying in Brazil. No, no. <sighs> What? You what's wrong? What's three million? Sit down, do yoga, bro. Relax, man. Do yoga. Relax the muscles. You frauds. You frauds. See, it's easy, man. What's going on? That's how he's cooking out your goal, man. Come <laughs> bro, this guy's doing yoga pose like he's the mom on GTA 5, bro. Oh my god, man. <laughs> What's the yeah, name? What was the name of that instructor? The French one? I forgot to say. Yeah, bro, that's what he's doing. He's doing those kind of poses. Oh my god, man. Listen, I've sense. got to say, Liverpool, don't lose the league. Fabio. Don't lose the league. Huh? <laughs> don't lose the league, Yaga Klopp. I said it, Sam. You're smoking because you know I said it. I told yeah, you. Yeah, I am a smoker. Everyone you knows us, this. No, you took a cigarette as soon as I said Ateta. Don't lose a dick. You no, it was already it's already lit up. It's halfway through. There you are. No, it's halfway through already. And we have listen, Ateta no better not win the league. The sum is better. I win, you will justify club. If Ateta wins, is Matt Convo asking? Yeah, I now. don't I don't go living my life based on agendas and narratives. That's the thing. That's the thing. I don't care about no, agendas. But yes, Arteta can say. surpass Klopp's people legacy. Say, name the greatest Premier League managers of all time. Okay, top five. Alex. Ferguson, Pep, yep. Mourinho, Wenger. and Arsene Wenger. Wenger. Fifth yeah. place, Pop's Klopp. Fifth. Okay, that's what I'm saying. Klopp's See, I'm first. being honest. Fifth place is Klopp. If Arteta wins two, 
He bypasses. Yes, he takes over Klopp, 100. percent And so if he wins one, no, but what? But Hamza, why do you think I haven't said this before? Like, why That's you act like you haven't known me for years? I'm not casting. I love, I love Klopp. I want Klopp to win. I no, want Klopp to win for the benefit Hamza, of Hamza. Hamza. Egal, egal. One second, either. brother. Can I? I just want to do something quickly, ladies and gentlemen. You know, this is what Hamza said seven days ago. Congratulations to Jurgen Klopp. Will I be pissed if Jurgen Klopp to win the league? My cousin hates Liverpool. My cousin hates, he's a city fan. He I said, yo, when this class wins it, I'm the first one to come out congratulate Liverpool. Jurgen Klopp, congratulations, Liverpool fans, well done for winning the league. But me, I know for a fact, Arsenal are not winning the league because you don't go and play like that. In okay, now we are now just to unpack your statement quickly you said seven days ago so surely arsenal are not going to win the league why are you asking me right now about the scenario that you're so sure won't happen can i understand you said i predict liverpool still favor we heard it with our own ears brother yeah? everyone heard it. i don't don't bottle the league it's you it's you Hamza, can lose. you answer my question yeah i'll answer all your questions just answer mine all right club <laughs> no, that's not the question. I know you're eight o'clock. That's not the question, Hamza. The question is: seven days ago, you told me for a fact. You said, "I know for a fact Arsenal won't win the league." Right? You said it. I know. So I'm yeah. asking you now: Why I'm are confident. you asking me about yeah, something you said for a fact won't happen? I'm, Can I understand? I'm confident, son. I am confident they will not win the league. Who? I Arsenal or us? Yeah, Arsenal. So you st so, okay? So you think Arsenal won't win the league, right? No. Okay, so why are you asking? Why are you asking about the scenario? No, I you said, don't if they do win the league, I have to apologize because I got it wrong. But that's not the point. You're but asking about the scenario you, you yourself no, don't believe. No. Right? My apology will be forgotten. I'll come and say, "Yo, Ateta is my guy." I'm sorry, he's my guy still. Ateta gave me league titles as a coach. I can't cast him. You, you I, I can say sorry to Ateta, but you, you have to justify for many, many years because Ateta's convo will be brought in. I know you feel like you you wanna whenever I say it to you, you feel agit. You start doing this. You no, move. but I'm not agitated at all. You. I already said no, Arteta can. Nervous. Okay, you asked me, can Arteta overtake Klopp's legacy? Simple answer: yes. Klopp's legacy in the Premier League is very like you can you can overturn it because this is just a fact. By the way, you can ask Lewis. I was asked this question earlier on the season and back again. I said the same shit, bro. I, I don't think Klopp is this messiah that no one can take over his legacy. Of course you can. By the way, everyone, it's Cl it's Lewis's birthday officially right now. So oh, we all wish Lewis a happy birthday Lewis. in the chat. I want everyone to spam happy birthday, Lewis, in the chat right here, right now. Happy birthday to you. Not my guys, please keep this in mind during the Chelsea I'm section. My Thank I'm you. I'm my cake. Happy birthday, Lewis. Hope you're doing well, bro. <laughs> okay. What is this cake? How do you <laughs> What's this cake? cake. This is an African cake. Small cake. Cake. Thank you, Hamza. Big up. Wow, Lewis, how that's so beautiful, now? Hamza. Happy birthday, 26. Lewis. Big 26. Big up, Lewis, my brother. Big, big up to the chat. Up for the love, my people. Big up, Lewis, big up, man. I saw it on Snapchat, but I, but first I thought, shit, what if it's his, not his birthday and he just put a random date? But it is what, actually... It's your birthday. notification, mad. Yeah, I, I got it. I called you. Yeah, but everyone has their Snapchat notifications off. My point is, Hamza, yeah, just ask me directly. Wallahi, I'll answer you. Why you act like I ducks? Hamza, I've known you for three years, brother. Wallahi, just ask. Yeah, he asked me, do you think it's possible for Arteta to overtake Klopp's legacy? The answer is yes. It's not. Yeah, I, wallahi, I agree. No problem. Fair enough. Why you act like it's impossible? Yeah, wallahi, it's not impossible. Because, it's not. Because I, I agree with this. Me, okay. Me, Look, Hamza, genuine question right now. Is it impossible for someone to overtake Mourinho's Premier League legacy? Impossible? It is. No. Okay, is it impossible for someone to overtake Wenger's Premier League legacy? Yeah, it's possible, no. yeah. Okay, does everyone here agree that Pep is above Mourinho and Klopp in, in the rankings? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so Pep overtook Mourinho and Wenger, who are looked at as greats. Then, of course, you can overtake Klopp. What is the problem with that, though? Like, you want me to sit here and go, like, even if Arsenal win three league titles in a row, Arteta still doesn't overtake Klopp's legacy. I'm not delusional. I know, of course, that it's true. Yes, he will. But to us as Liverpool fans, he still won me my first. Same way for you, Mancini won you your first. So the first one is always the most special one. That's just the reality. I'm not, I'm not doing the extra emotional shit. I'm not doing any of the extra stuff. I'm just being real. 
Factually, whoever wins you, that's why Chelsea fans till this day, even though he managed Man United and Spurs, still love Mourinho because Mourinho won them their number one one. The first one well, is always not- special. Big up, Jose. Not, no, I don't. Yeah. I don't believe the first one is only I'm, special. That's just the Jose first. I don't, don't believe. Be I don't believe. I don't believe that would be more special than if you parade it. Even a if our fan base turned on him. If you if you parade in a full stadium, it's, for, it's special. You don't, Hamza, you don't understand. We paraded a Carabao Cup and an FA Cup, and we had five times as many you had for winning a treble. Do you understand how I'm embarrassing that is for you? Okay, I want to Do you understand how Anfield embarrassing deserves, it is? And we paraded the Champions League in Liverpool, and we had 750,000 people turn up to the northwest of England. Yeah, but... They, 750,000 people. You won the treble. But you've never and paraded the Premier League. Everyone forgot. I want you, you know, to parade you know the funny? Premier League. Let, let me tell you what's funny, the Hamza. No, honestly, honestly, I'll tell you something that's funny. We cooked Egal more last season than we said well done, <laughs> Hamza. Are you aware of this? How? <laughs> we laughed at Arsenal more than we said congrats, City. Are you aware of this? Like, Do, do you think I care when Casillas talks about Madrid and City being Bro, you the know the crazy team thing team is? Oh, Madrid and City. One Champions joke? League, you're comparing yourself to wait, 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 wait. When Casillas and Rodrigo are asking fans to get white shirts to close the, the stadium, cause the atmosphere for Man City. Uh, breaking news, player asks for fans to support his club. Oh, Didn't oh, Pep Guardiola news. say come Madrid to Etihad? Never it's asked empty. The stadium to be Didn't closed Pep Guardiola up. say come They've to Etihad? It's empty. For a stadium to be closed up, the top roof. Never. Bro, Pep Guardiola said come to Etihad. Yeah, they didn't empty, used bro. to have a roof. They rebuilt the burnabout, dude. That's why they're having the dome now. They reconstructed it. Yeah, Hamza didn't even attend the parade. That's what I'm saying. He didn't even attend the the fraud. I'm I'm not going to lie to you guys. Because I know I've got so many parades. You're busy cussing Arsenal fans on space. I know many people attend the parade. You'll never attend the parade. Because you've never attended it. Yes, you guys will never Are you saying Brexit means Brexit? Are you you being Nigel Farage? No, no. I'm saying no. I'm talking about Liverpool fans. Don't try and play that Look at this guy. Listen, you just call me Camel Rider, Hamza. You no, call, you be calling me a terrorist. No, you want to know Hamza. something, Relax. guys? You want to know something? Hamza, your opinion goes with the wind. One Why? day, it's whatever. Uh, it's whatever. Uh, I'm, 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 just I'm just joking. I'm just joking. I'm just, I'm just eating my okay. I'm just joking. It's literally whatever agenda suits you for the day. But, yeah. Okay, anyway. Let us let's, let's let me do Super Chats before we move on to the, uh, to the Chelsea section. You know? <laughs> We said we're doing things differently around here, so we'll start with Lewis this time. So, uh, big up to Hamza's shampoo says, Hamza, thank you for all your factual information. He sent us at the start. No, no, he sent us at the start when you were talking about, uh, I think, Real Madrid. Oh, okay, now the start. Hamza's shampoo. By the way, guys, make sure you guys go get your own version of Hamza and Shoulders ASAP. 115 (laughs) active ingredients. Make sure you guys go buy Hamza and Shoulders ASAP. You know, if this is football ever becomes big enough, I'm fully selling that. I'm fully like just taking packaged bottles of that. Of like, and get the Vaseline by Onana. Get the Vaseline by Onana. <laughs> get the Vaseline by Onana, guys. Liverpool fans, it's empty. Yeah, it's only that left. <laughs> get the Vaseline I by Onana. What have you been doing with that ball? Yo, do these guys not realize? Do not realize why goalkeepers? Yeah, that's a bad Yashil slander name. Oh, that's bad Yashile. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Fairs, fairs, fairs. Big up to you, CTI. Good Yashile. What the hell? Boot Yash. Boot Yashield. Bad Yashile. Boot Yashield. Boot Yashield. Fairs. That's a good slander name, to be fair. Here's some money for the ad fund from an Iraqi, says Sultan. Tahiyati ila kul ahl al-Iraq. Big up to all the Iraqis who watch us. Big up for the ad fund, you guys. Shout out the super chatters. You know, help supporting the channel always. You get me. Love, love to all of you guys, man. Big up, uh, Sultan. Big up to Yahya Hassan, says, Hussam Habibi, back again. Podcast today was so real. My only problem is I always tell people, guys, when I make a statement, please argue it back. I, I have no problem. How many people in this current chat disagree with me? So many people disagree with me. It's okay. But don't argue the way I say stuff. Don't argue any of that shit. Just argue what I have said. Just argue what I have said. That's all. That's it. I've said Liverpool won't win the league from the start. And I believed in this singular reason from the start. Our forward line is not clinical enough. Now, if you give me fit Diogo Jota from now to the end of the season and tell me City and Arsenal are going to drop points, I might change my mind. But until then, I can't Have you changed your mind from Arsenal winning it? 
I think City are favorites because they have the easiest running, bro. Have you seen well, the run? You predicted it's Arsenal to win it, so you still stand by that? At the start, yeah. yes, but I just we think City have a pathetic run. What are we doing here? City have hey, give, it up, give it up with the underdog gimmick, bro. Have give you it up. Stop the underdog gimmick. I don't care, man. You cannot be treble winners and yeah, free you know, players enough, and do up underdog gimmick. Come on, bro. Football. Me and you were there together. Egal talks football. You told Egal, I have no problem admitting Arsenal have a tougher run. In. You said it with your own words. Okay, Arsenal have a tougher run in than City. Factually. Done. Who the hell saw 200 plus uh, million in Enzo and Caicedo? Both are mid, says Raman. Big up, hmm. Raman. Todd Bowley. Uh, Garnacho and Camboala are not from Carrington. Players you buy are at 16 are not academic products. I'm no, no, it's not this. Hamza was actually spitting. You buy Garnacho oh, from no, Atletico. No, 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 no. One no, second, no. Griggs. You buy Garnacho from Atletico, it's not an academy product. That's not how that works, though. He got he signed here on a scholarship. His no, first professional matter, contract he, he after me, playing man. in the Manchester United Academy was for Manchester United. He is a United Academy product. He played in the academy for two years. He won the he won the FA Youth Cup at Manchester United, by the way, which he is was the biggest seventeen years show. old. That doesn't matter, bro. I never no. said he was yeah, a character. It's not a Liverpool Academy product, then. No. Yes. It's not. But we bought him from QPR. QPR. Did he play in your academy? Did, what did you did you sign him on a professional no, contract? It, it, it cannot just be he plays yeah. in our academy. Okay, no. When you signed Sterling, did you sign him on a professional contract or scholarship? Bro, I don't know. Point is, he played in our That's academy. That's what I'm saying. Garnacho and Quambala signed to United on scholarships. They did not sign on professional contracts. We didn't pay a transfer fee for them. They signed on scholarships. We brought them over to England. They played in our academy in the under-18s and the under-21s. And then they signed a professional contract for Manchester United. And then they became Manchester United players. On the wall, they are Carrington graduates. That's how that works. Okay. I Okay. So, you know what, Griggs? We might just disagree on the definition. And it's okay. It's fine because I don't count Raheem Sterling as a Liverpool Academy product because we bought him from QPR. So I'm using same logic. I'm not. You bought him though. Up. You paid. A, did you pay a transfer fee? Yes. Yeah. We we got exactly. him from QPR. We didn't Academy. pay a transfer fee for Garnacho Kwambala. We didn't pay them. We gave but them the scholarship. You can't pay a transfer fee because they're kids, brother. You could pay. It'll oh, be illegal. Else you would pay a transfer fee for, their, for the kids. Be fine for Look, that, at so. a certain age, when, once a player signs a professional contract for another team, you can pay a transfer fee for them. That's how that works. It is, it is what it is, come down. Big up to Jail Zone says, Hamza, you are the greatest thing on YouTube. Hey, listen, I've known Hamza three years, and honestly, Hamza on YouTube is just five stars, man. Big up to, to Hamza. And make sure you guys go subscribe to Hamza Talks Football, you know? Now you can super chat to Hamza Talks Football as well. So he's no longer eating pies with the him away. He actually hit 1K subscribers on A-listers, funnily enough. So we made sure he hits 1K. By the way, the next guy you have to get to 1K is man like Griggs. So every one of the mods, please drop Griggs' sure. chat, uh, uh, link in the, in the chat right now. Guys, everyone go subscribe to Griggs. Let's get him to 1K, you bunch of frauds. Yalla, let's get Griggs to 1K. Big up to you, JL Zone. Um, Pools, COVID, Premier League versus Arteta's UCL matchup of the century. SC, here's my thing. When we, when we say information, let it be accurate. Liverpool did not win the COVID Premier League title. Factually, City won it the year after when there was no fans in the stadiums the whole year. Liverpool were Premier League champions before a ball was kicked after COVID. You understand? We were already champions. So when until game week 30, there were fans in the stadium. How do you call that the COVID League? That's just not factually incorrect. Uh, Sharif says, Hamza's full of it. I will come pull your ear. Bro, I know so many people who get so frustrated at Hamza, but it is entertaining. Like, it's prime entertainment. Anyway, big up to Sharif. Big up to SE, JL Zone, Comdian, AK, uh, Herman, Hamza's Shampoo, Vin, Barrios, AK, CTID, Sultan, Yahya, and Ramen for the Super Chats. Big up to you guys. Make sure you guys are slapping the like button, guys. Make sure you guys are subscribing to This Is Football. Subscribe, everyone. Someone drop Griggs' chat uh, link in the chat. We need to get them to 1K. Uh, subscribe to all these great guys on the panel as well. All of their channels are in the description, including Griggs' one. Make sure you guys are liking. Make sure you guys are subscribing. And next up, we have to move to Birthday Boys Club. You get me? And as I said, today we're doing things a bit of differently just because of like time constraints and stuff. Um, so I want my guy, Lewis, to start. Talking about the Chelsea Sheffield game. Talk to me, Lewis. What were you telling me? I was having, I was in such a good mood as well. All right, all right. Let's talk about this crap. So uh, we got outplayed by the team bottom of the table. Great, or a turn for the process. Um, Sheffield United won more duels, more shots on goal, 
more big chances created, more shots inside the box, and their bottom, their bottom of the table. Our tactics were very confusing. We decided, even though we have two left wingers, we're going to play Gallagher at left wing. And because Gallagher don't stay in his position at all, Cucurella has to do the job of three positions. He has to play left back, left mid, and left wing all at the same time. Madueke and Jackson, all left isolated, had to deal with two free players at once because we throw Palmer into the middle for no reason, even though he's been cooking on the right all season. But I, whatever. The only thing, the only thing that I'll um, let off is that we didn't have any overlaps on the right hand side because we didn't have a right back. Gusto was injured. Well, no, it not injured, ill. So whatever, calm. We're already going to be handicapped on that side, but the structure was laughable. Um, the way we played was laughable. We could barely get the ball into the final third. This isn't the sort of game where you can say Poch coached a win or Poch, um, if we scored this chance, we win. If we scored this chance, we don't win. No, we had like, what, three shots on target and two of the goals. Another one was just a hit and hope from Palmer from about 20, 30 yards out because we just we are literally not creating anything. I don't know what we were set up to do, but it didn't work. It didn't work. We, we got two goals, one off a corner. Rare, but big up to Silva. And then Madueke finally gets given a little bit of space and manages to get a chance in. Then as soon as we do that, we immediately slow down our football. We take off the goal scorer and the assister. Then in the last minute, we, we bring on two defenders for literally no reason. No reason at all. We're already set up to defend the set piece. And then we go and just throw that all into the bin and we concede immediately after. So... Yeah, Europe's in the bin for me. If you if you get four points against the bottom two, don't bother. If don't the bother. There's, we're, we're not winning the FA Cup, bro. You're we're not. We're, we're, I, ha I have to go through a whole Man City first. And a you Man know. United side that we only beat because they managed to concede two goals in the last minute. How do you know it won't be Coventry? You're so sure. Oh, oh, whoa. The, the, Actually, it's that, better for you if you play United, Loki. Yeah, that seems like the sort of teams we struggle against, according to my manager. Yeah, I so, <laughs> hey, I, I am not even going to bother sniffing the copium to believe that we have a chance of winning the FA Cup. I'm just counting down the weeks until the end of the season. Hopefully, they sack Pochettino and, and we can move again because like, I do believe these individuals are still better than ninth. We should be at least a couple of places higher or competing at a couple of places higher. But we haven't been able to build a consistent run throughout the season. And where in the Burnley game, I could have said players should have done their job. E even if the structure's a giant mess, you had chances. You didn't take them. We weren't even set up to do that. We didn't, we were, it was literally one of, again, for like the fifth, sixth time I'm saying this season, one of the worst performances I've ever seen in this life. I mean, in my life, but like, I, I don't think I'm going to see any worse than this drawing to bottom of the table, Sheffield United. So I'm just waiting for this season to be over and done with managers you throwing up. Uh, go on, go on. You've said, that, you've said that numerous times nice this now. year. You've said that numerous times this year. I don't think I could yep. see worse than Bur uh, losing to Brentford at home. I don't think I could see worse than, than, than dropping points to this team, that team. This is who you guys are. This is just who you are for the rest of the season. And honestly, until your ownership changes their direction, because I've told you about Todd Bowley. I've told you at the beginning of the season about your defense. I told you about young players and inconsistencies. I told you that Kai Havertz was not the reason why you guys were shit. Mason it was still Mount a big reason, reason last season. We're, we're not doing the gap. We're not, do we're not doing Connor the Connor Gallagher is we're not the reason that. why you guys are shit. That's a happy birthday, though. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, it is his birthday. Uh, Ga Gallagher this. is not the main reason, but I mean, he's picked to start stop, every game. He plays a full ninety, regardless. Stop scapegoating management. The reality of the situation is scapegoating management. You're, yeah, because you can. You think Pochettino's a scapegoat? Managers. You can continuously yeah. change managers, but I don't think your quality of your squad is conducive to winning. Mm -hmm. You don't have a quality team. You don't have a team that has enough experience to 
and the actual resume to experience prove shouldn't be offered. needed to be to get to seventh. And then the one thing you can maybe criticize the manager is his tactics and how the team has gelled. But when it comes to your squad, what have these individuals shown throughout the Well, I've said that, and you said I'm scapegoating the management. So you got to pick a side, bro. Either the manager is partly to blame or or he's being scapegoated. you got to pick one or the other. No, no, no. I'm saying the players are the problem. And the reason why the players are the problem... I actually agree with that deep down. I'm not even taking a and And the reason why I say the players are the problem... Yeah, you've been consistent with that all season, to be fair. The reason why I say the players are the problem is not because of the players are all shit. It's because the construction of the squad doesn't make sense. You guys went from... This is a change in philosophy. I said at the beginning of the season, this is Chelsea 2.0. And I stick by it. Because Todd Bowley has turned Chelsea into a team that is win now, get players in to try to win now. Win now? Short term... Short term, short term success, instant success. A team Todd Bowley's made us the success. win now team. You sure you're not thinking of Roman? Yeah, no, you're not hearing what I said. Todd Sorry, Bowley okay. took a team that was a win now under Roman Abramovich and turned it into a long term project. You guys don't have the patience. Is this you guys true, don't by have the way. No, oh, no I, I do have the patience, which is why I'm not throwing these players under the bus in season one. No, no. Bro, Lewis, to be fair, if towards the end of Roman, it was more of a long-term project. If you had the patience, you would have grinded it out to the end now. of the season with with Graham Potter. If you had the patience, now you see that that's where I agree. In hindsight, I don't think we should have got rid of Potter if this was the if this if was the end the, result. If you had I the agree patience, on that. If you had the patience, after after half a season with Poch, you would have realized that you you have you don't have a balanced squad, and you would have maybe said, you know what, let's see what they can do to try to improve this team going next season and right off the season. Because your season's already written off. The performances that you guys have put in, you can criticize the manager every single week. You can criticize these players every single week. But overall, your team does not... It lacks the quality from top to bottom. Defensively, midfield, attack. You have key, You have good players, individual players. But as a team, they don't function well together. You can say that's all the all on. You can say that's partly on the manager. That, that's because of coaching. That's yeah, why I've, that's why I see Enzo spend the majority of first half telling our players where to manager. run to. You can say that's partly on the manager, but at what point, as a professional footballer, do you take it upon yourself to 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 get yourself together? To beat Sheffield, bro. Like beat them, bro. It's Sheffield United. No, it's Burnley. I, I hear. It's Burnley. no, but I made, I said that exact argument for the Burnley game, so we can't no, act like it's just it's, all pot. It's lack of motivation. I said players. the players should have done the job against Burnley, but you look at this game. There, there is no way you cannot look at structure first with the way that we were set up for no, that match. Bro, we had three shots. One second. Why is your structure all of a sudden good against the top teams? The manager is not isn't it to me it shows that the players the only the only good me, structure the only good structure we've had in the big game was Man City away, maybe no, no, both no, Man Lewis, City games. Lewis, you have you your team has shown up for both games against Man City, they showed up against Liverpool in the first game of the season, they showed up against Arsenal Second at half. your house, they showed up against Man And also United that Liverpool home. team had no midfield as well. Up, that was they not up not up Against they United, against their structure was still United. Shit. United. What do you mean United? That was a mid off. No, but that was two idiots fighting. Bro, I'm talking, <laughs> about your, I'm talking about your players. Your players, when they, they when it comes to these big games, they actually take the initiative to take it upon themselves to try to win the game or try to contribute in a in a positive manner. But when it comes to the smaller teams, there's a level of arrogance. That you guys. Is, not a level of arrogance. Arrogance. What 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 manager has, has failed? Or struggled with low blocks for the last decade. Oh, my manager. Bro, every every manager, every manager can get stifled by a low block, but their team is full of individuals that don't actually want to play together. I said don't uh, want to play together. They what? don't want to play, don't they do don't want to take the I think they're players, they didn't no, they don't, 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 don't want to play together. What, what? Uh, as someone as someone here who's kind of been in a Lewis situation, I'm probably the only one here that's been with like the ownership and then with like the coach. No, you haven't been in the Lewis situation. I, I've been there. No, no, that is bad. Yeah, that yeah, is bad. You're in the mud, I'm in mean, quicksand, bro. I want to make something clear. Google None of us David Lance, the well, Okay, well, I'm saying in terms of like if I'm talking in terms of like the owners and your clubs. Uh, okay, I know ever. it's never Bro, been as bad. But Griggs, I'm talking about Griggs, in terms of like Griggs, I'm talking about in terms of like owners and the coaching right and stuff like that. But 
the football is not that black and white where you can only look at one individual to blame. Yeah. You there there are multiple individuals to blame at Chelsea. Multiple Every single players. person has to hold the e- maybe Tabo can hold about 55% of the smoke, right? 60%. But coach yeah. the coach hmm. has to hold the smoke and so do the players. So at Chelsea, that's that's how it is. At Sheffield United, they look poor structurally. And by the way, it's easier to look better against a big team sometimes than it is against the worst teams. Because when Ole Gunnar Solskjaer did that interview on the overlap, he talked about it. How do I take United from being a counter-attacking team to the next step, to dominating games? That's a hard step to take. Your coach has figured it out. Arteta has figured it out. Pep and Klopp are obviously all-time greats, so they figured it out. Pochettino is not an all-time great because he had some of these issues for Spurs, but the Premier League quality wasn't as good back then, so he was able to get away with it because he also had supreme talent in it. Harry Kane, Christian Eriksen, Deli Alli, Huming oh, Sun. So he was able to get with it. At Chelsea, he does not have premium quality. Great, great. So it is- this is my point, though. Take Pochettino out of that situation. Slap any manager in world football in this Chelsea side right now. He's going to look at the tools to his disposal and he's going to yeah, say, Yeah, it's not going to be a great team. Even. Lazy, for spent, lazy take. For the, but, no, no, no. This is not a lazy take. This is an actual reality. For how? The any spent, manager looks at the squad and it ain't going to work. How do you know that? No, no, no. I didn't even how do you know that? my point, Lewis. You just, on, you just came to on, that conclusion. My main point was, any manager is going to look at this team and they're going to say, it's not for the money spent. It is, it is not conducive to winning. The amount of money you that's spend, fine. Way, that's that's winning, fine. winning now. I hear that, but who's been talking about winning now? You guys keep no, saying well, like a better coach. Lewis, Lewis, we're speaking about beating Sheffield United, Brentford, Burnley. We're show you're struggling against these kind of sides. But hey, we turn up against the big teams. Hey, it's easy. Your players, your players are. It's easy. Bro, you know what it is, though? For those Bro, games. Hold up, one second, one second, one second, one second, one second, one second. We said the same, someone said in the comments, we said the same shit under Lampard for them. Thomas Tuchel walked into that squad and he was able to get them to win a Champions League. Obviously, but I'm not saying any of those players are left. I'm not saying a coach is going to do that, but no, no. Coach, he's talking about the point being made. A, a group of players about, that were called no, not good about. enough by one manager was good enough to win the UCL with another. Let me land my point. Let me land my point. Let me land my point. This team can't even get past 11th. That How team was ninth when, when Lampard got sacked. Can I let my point? Go on, go on. Go on. Bro, a, a coach, you know, Chelsea are not good enough to be like a top four team. Let's be real. We all know that, right? But a better coach top, does not have eight. them in ninth. No, no, no. Oh, top, bro, top eight. Yes, yeah. are, bro, that, bro, let's not do this. That this squad is not Straight good enough to be yeah. top eight. Because you look at West Ham squad. Is West Ham squad really th- better than Chelsea? West Ham, all Brighton, right Newcastle. Yeah. Right, goodness right, sake. Right, even right, even right, respectfully yeah. United, I believe with right a good now, enough manager, we right could go toe to toe with right United now, and actually right dominate. Right now, if, if you, you ask me who I'm taking more players from, I'm taking more players from all these teams over Chelsea. You're taking more players from Brighton over Chelsea. From United. If I look at West Ham, who are you taking from Brighton? Name me five players you're taking from Brighton. Okay, I can name you five players you're taking from Brighton. That's easy. But First of all, first of all, when you say... When, when you say, name me five players are taking from Brighton, Brighton are literally below Chelsea in the league right now. Okay, who's above Brian? Oh, yeah, yeah by, yeah, a by a point. By a point. The point from yesterday. Okay. okay. Yes. Better manager you know, you know, has... Greg, Greg, one second. You know where I predicted Chelsea to come at the start of the season? Eighth. They're ninth right now. They're meeting my expectation. I didn't expect anything great from them. This is season one, bro. Uh, These players that's are going to make nah, That's fair enough to you, boy. That's your point. But... So still, that's the all the more reason why better, structure is necessary. With Sorry, a better Briggs. coach, bro. But no, but it's not even that because they could have been eighth, but playing much better football. And you can say that they're, they're tactically great, right? But their players are just shit. But you can't make that case for them because they're not tactically great. They're tactically shit. Because okay, I saw with, my football club play them on Thursday, tactics, and, and both teams who I I consider us to be one competing of the worst around in the league fifth to sixth, seventh. Bro, I went down that. two 0 at the bridge on Thursday, and I was confident I would come back because of how bad they are structurally. Because I saw that midfield, the gap. Structurally, how when Caicedo made an individual error? Yeah. They were still tactically, bro. We all watched that game. The midfield from that's, both that's what led to the goal. 90 minutes. That's what led to United, the first goal. United should have won that okay. game. I'll, I'll just say one thing before Hamza goes. One statement. No, no, I'm, 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 I'm I think Poch's biggest. I think Poch's biggest criticism, which is extremely constructive and factual, is how he sets up defensively. That is genuinely one of the worst things he does for me. Like I'm saying, I'm, I'm saying as someone who rates Poch, I'm probably the guy that rates Poch highest on his whole panel. No problem. However, I say defensively, 
100% it's a problem from him. There needs to be some certain thing defensively. Now, I also look at context. Maybe if Lavia had been there, played a little bit defensive, DM, all that shit, maybe it would have been slightly better. However, defensively, it's still a problem. You cannot be conceding that much. But on the other side, I can also look at this. I can take a step back and I can genuinely... No agenda. I swear I'm not doing any agendas right now. I have no horse in this race. Even the race I'm about to mention. I think if we just take Erling Haaland alone and put him in Chelsea, just straight up finisher who can put the ball in the back of the net, I think Chelsea are like minimum like fourth. I'm not even exaggerating or fifth. I don't think it'd be fourth. At the start of the season, the way that they were playing, if they had someone to put those chances away, their confidence would have built up and they would have had momentum. They would have been in fourth place. Right and when we play at our best, uh, like... I don't know who's got that in the background. Okay, um, uh, go on, Hamza. Talk to me, brother. Wait, no, can I, can I speak about Chelsea? Because I, I was I was, I was, I was in your no, go, go on, go on, Griggs. Because yeah. uh, oh, I have a point. Well, Chelsea fan, we've, we've been on the same side for most of the year, but I have a bone to pick with a certain Argentinian midfielder, Enzo Fernandez. Yeah, Mr. Yeah. Enzo Fernandez, after yeah. the game on Thursday, you wanted to you wanted to do all that barking to Mason Mount. Yeah. You nothing. wanted to do all that barking to Mason Mount, who won a Champions League at Chelsea Football Club, by the way. I know that I know it ended on oh, I know it ended on bad matters, but at the end of the day, Mason Mount. In two seasons, just like, even in 1920, when he when he helped carry you to top four, did more than Enzo Fernandez has done in 18 months at Chelsea. That's a fact. Yeah. That's like in the ball. Enzo Fernandez, I, I, I've always said about this guy, all bark, no bite. Because he did the same thing in the Carabao Cup final after the game, after you lost to a bunch of kids, where you got dominated by a bunch of kids in that midfield. You wanted to yell at the Liverpool fans because they, they trolled you. You could hold that. And on Thursday, you want, yo, you want to talk to Mason Mount like that? Go ahead. Then uh, when, when you go up against I Sheffield, think, I don't know who Sheffield's midfielders are. I have no idea who Sheffield midfielders are. I don't care who Sheffield midfielders are because they're going to get relegated at the end of the season. So no one cares. You got showed up by them because I saw the highlights. I think, and I, yeah. saw, I, I specifically focus on Enzo, too. They hold the ball away like 33 times or like 20, 23 to 30 times. That's, that's to me, that's terrible player quality. You were the, the 120 mil player, 105 mil player, whatever you call it. Show up. Because if you're gonna if you're gonna act all rowdy after games and all that kind of stuff, you better back up your talk. If you don't walk the walk, you can't talk the talk. That's how it goes. So go ahead, bark on my player, bro. Go ahead, and that's why I want to see. Uh, I will say the stuff with Mal was definitely some stuff from behind the scenes. But fair enough, back your boy. Here's what it is. I, well, I, 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 I'll back Mason Mal because, bro, I, for me, I don't know. It He's just, United, I get it. I get it. Because I, I also the way I see Mason Mal as a person, I don't think he's the type of guy to be like. I might be wrong. I might be wrong. But genuinely, like, Enzo Enzo had some bad passes, did lose the ball a lot, but it's because no one knew where to run. He spent the whole first half saying, go over there, go over there, and people are looking around clueless. That's a Potch. No one on the entire left-hand side all game. Sam says that Potch's only issue is off his uh, defensive structure. I think Potch's possession structure is absolutely piss poor. And offensive. We don't know what to do going forward. We make it up. You don't have any You don't have any. He literally said, we are PMP, Palmer and Prey. But I just want to call Enzo for that because I I don't like players that do a lot of all the bark and no, all bite no bark, bro. You better you, if you want to talk trash, you better you better back it up. So I hope I see you FA Cup final, and I and we'll see we'll settle the case. There there we Listen, go. You I just one. want to say I, that I'm not gonna talk. Wrong, I'm not gonna cook your team too much Let's, because I lost to you, and that, I I'm embarrassed by that. The fact that I lost. The to thing, you. I'm really the embarrassed. You're by right. That. You're Fair right. Enough. I don't the blame you. Is, the, the thing is, you're right. Yeah, this Enzo guy is shameless. You kiss the badge of Benfica. Yeah, December, and scored more like this, and you threw the Benfica shirt, and you went to Chelsea shirt, and cast a player that won a Champions League for their team. Like, have some shame, bro. Have some. You didn't even win the league title with Benfica. You left them. You well, Hamza, thought, Hamza, they, thoughts on the game, bro? Thoughts on the game? Say, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, why'd you stop? Thoughts on the game. Because <laughs> I know. I'm just saying. Before the game. Thoughts on the game. Thoughts on the game, thoughts on the game Hamza. You, you, you can cook up a form and talk to me about how we played, bro. I'm going to tell you. I'm going to tell you how you played. All right, this cool. guy is so shameless. Yeah. Before the pre game, I thought, yo, you can't do that to a Champions League winner, man. That guy brought a, tro that guy brought a major trophy to. To Lewis. Lewis has got two because of Mason Mount. Yeah? So and because of Mason Mount, like I didn't have the best defense doing, in 20 years. Of, of doing that to him. And Mason Enzo would never have done what Mason Mount did against Atletico Madrid, 
against Real Madrid. If you can't even do it against Sheffield United, you is the world's smallest violin for Mason Mount. Oh, boo hoo, you won as a UCL. It could apparently, not as Sheffield, against Sheffield United defenders who are going to get relegated, he couldn't do it against Oliver Luke Albasta, a guy used to play for Port Vale only, only two months ago. He was on loan to Port Vale, who was dunking on him. A 19 year old who played for Port Vale on loan before that, he was on loan for Bradford, yeah, Division Two team. Yeah, you all right, that, that, that's great and all, but what was your thoughts on the game? I, that's what I'm saying. He was appalling. You cannot cost 100 million, and the way no, you okay, played, no, one second. What, what about the rest of the team? One second, let me let me let, let me finish. One second, to be fair, he is talking about the game this time, so uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he's got to one person, the individual he's been one talking second. about. Also, I want to know no. his genuine thoughts about one. the 90 minutes. No, no, one second, let me finish. The thing is about shameless about this guy, he gets rated as if Enzo is this, Enzo is that. Yo, you probably not be able to play in the championship because these guys are going championship, you know. If you can't do it against Burnley 10 men, you can't do it against Sheffield United who are relegated. Why should I trust you? That's Why mad because last you? season when we Why went to the Etihad, he was our best player. What, bro, what, it's, it's fact. No, hold on, Etihad. Etihad won? Last season when we went to the Etihad, we lost 1-0 and he was our best player. He was your best player? Bro, anyone can have a good game at the Etihad. It doesn't mean that you're a great player. When you're struggling against Bradford, uh, against... But this Bra is the Burnley. point I'm trying to make. Last season, but he's not good he was enough. playing better football. This, this year, he's chicken here. All he does, he picks on people who are like Mason Man, who are bigger than... Mason Man has got big, bigger... There you are. Here. There you are. Look here. Well, like, well, like, Literally just like, spawned. We said Enzo like, too much. And Enzo Fernandez, Enzo Fernandez, Mason Mount will always have a bigger legacy than you as a Chelsea player. Fact. You will never yeah, win good the luck. He's a bigger enemy than Courtois right you, now, but you, sure. All you do is you're struggling around 10th position, struggling against 20th position, 19th position, and then you're picking up a fight 19th, 90th minute after scoring. You got assisted in a deflected goal for Cole Palmer. Cole Palmer's carrying your team. My, my brother, are you gonna are you gonna Cole talk Palmer. about any other Chelsea player or the performance? Me, Enzo's a guy. Enzo's number number one target. Yeah, number yeah, two, I know he is. But like, did you two, watch anything of anybody else, or did you just catch an Enzo fail comp or something that was doing the round? Enzo, yo, how can you cost hundred million for that that performance? Another guy. Listen, no disrespect here. Yeah? Caicedo and Enzo, that that partnership in midfield is shocking. It's probably the worst partnership in midfield in the league. Oh, you oh I'm telling boy. you now, I've not seen a partnership. Bro, one guy, I don't know. I'm thinking, yo, where's yeah. the other one? Chaco Vision. Yeah, to me, to you, to... Bro, these guys are Chaco Vision. Bro, they cannot do anything together. Someone has to be dropped. For this partnership to work or something, Lavia has to take one, one guy. And I believe Enzo has to be dropped. He's injured. Enzo has to be dropped for his confidence. For some. And now, because you okay. cannot be a player who scores eight goals, eight, a number eight, oh, and score that. goals for River Plate. Go to Benfica, yeah? Perform <laughs> at Benfica, and then you're struggling at Chelsea, yeah? And the other player, Jackson. Jackson is a bum. He's worse than Mateta. Jackson, he's worse than Mateta. Big up, Enzo. I'm so glad I didn't buy you. I only said big up me. Enzo. Listen, he wants to tell that. You. Listen, Sam, one second. I was like, why am I cooking? Why, am I, why are you bringing my thing up? I could have deleted it. No, I didn't bring anything. Lewis brought it here. The hey, when you did it to me last week. It wasn't so sweet, was it? Yeah. Okay, Sam, they offered us 10 million. No, Allah, Lewis brought it, not me. So Sam, they offered big up to Abdi Has. Right? They offered 10 million for him. 10 so million. Haters, Sam, I love it. I'll take him for 10 million. That's how much he's worth. That's how much he's worth. He's not worth 100 million. He's not worth 50 million because he will never have played for Man City. Without Cole Palmer, without Cole Palmer, Lewis, you'll be relegated this season. Just remember, my youth player is helping you fight for it, helped you. Remember my football club here. You see that football club? You see, you see this? You think, club? you think, we, we, we did. Kiss that you think we, didn't know. Brother, we were literally saying all this on Thursday. We were saying thank you, Man City. Like, well, what kind of dead shot is this? 
Wait, I have a question. If they were gonna get relegated, you think I asked you gal to say thank you, Chelsea, because we made Declan Rice in our academy? No. Who cares? Bro, without Copama, they'll be 18. Go check it. Check out the goals he scored. Wait, no, yeah, no, yeah, I have a question. Like, that's fine. Wait, like, on, you, on, I don't on, even on, need to look on, at the goals. On, I agree. On. So if Cole Palmer left Chelsea, right, they'll get relegated. Isn't that a coaching issue then? Because if you take out, if you take one away one player, they're gonna get relegated. Well, that's a, then that's the coach to blame. There you are. It's a fact. He assisted all your goals. He's carrying you. He's helping. Now, 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 Hamza, would you like to talk about the game? What? How can I analyze a game you got battered? You, you, you could not even beat Sheffield United. You mean how can you analyze a game you didn't watch? Yeah. Believe, yeah. believe. I Ten minutes left. We have a chance. Boys, oh, we have a chance. I, boys. I look after them, but at the end of the day, yeah, I don't believe Pochettino is a problem. When you can't fail to beat Sheffield United, and you can't beat ten men, you don't believe that because Poch used to body your club with Spurs every season. Arteta, That's why Arteta was asked. Arteta was asked, "Who's the smartest man in football?" He, guess who he said? Pochettino. Ask her. Ask it go. It go. What did Arteta say? The smartest man in football, he said Pochettino. I tell you, nah, I gotta look this up. I'm not gonna let him get Bro, it. Bro, I go video, man. I go video. I go video. I tell you, I said it. I find the I, video. I don't believe videos. That okay, let me AI. find it. What's that video? What's that? He says in the video. Let me find. Keep, I'll find it so that you, you believe me. One second. Oh, one second. I'll find it here. All right, what what you'll find out, would you like to let us know your thoughts on the performance? The, the game that we're all trying to analyze and talk about. Actually, they played together at PSG. My, my Speed, America. Strength. I'm going to say Ronaldinho as well. He was so powerful. Skill. Ronaldinho and JJ Ococha because they could do incredible things, but with some differences. Football IQ. Pochettino. Right. Bro, that's as a player. Hey, Genius. Get out of here. Football IQ. As a player, he played as for a Malaga. Player. As a player, he played for Malaga. What shit? They played together at PSG. They played together at PSG. Football IQ as a manager. As a, he, he was talking about uh, players. Jay, when, was was Ococha, when was JJ Ococha? When was JJ Ococha manager that Arteta would know? Go ahead. Listen, he said football IQ Pochettino. So you can't cause Pochettino. I don't believe Pochettino's to blame for Burnley, FC Wimbledon. Sure, that is a oh heart. You well, listen, you need a heart to beat those teams. You need to be intelligent to beat those teams. If my need players heart and intelligence to beat the bottom if two. If my players are losing to ten men Burnley and drawing to ten men Burnley and they drawing to they drawing to Sheffield United and I'm eleventh, bro. I swear to God, I'm coming for the most expensive player. What did I did do this year? Calvin Phillips. Of I took him off the thing. I have class. I don't protect player C. I don't do player C. If any player lets me down, I take him down. Lewis will never criticize Enzo. Lewis will really. Never Really? Whoa, 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 pause, pause, pause. No, 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 no. You don't just get to say that and run. So around October when I said Enzo was having underwhelming performances, that weren't me criticizing Enzo. So at Man United's away, at Man United's away, I, I didn't criticize Enzo. At the Carabao Cup final, I, I didn't criticize Enzo. Even though I came in, the first thing I said was, you are all justified to single out Enzo like you do all season for that specific episode because he stunk. Um, against Newcastle, even though he got an assist, I, I said he had a poor performance. But I, I will never criticize Enzo. So well, what are we talking about? Are, are we are we just gonna lie? Are we just who gonna are lie. Worst five players for Chelsea, Luis. Be honest. This season. What worst five players this season? That have been playing. I don't want players that have been missing. Right. So Gallagher, Sterling, Chilwell. That's the top three. First off, then um... Enzo has to be there. No, nah, I'm looking through. Oh, uh, no, nah, I said chill. Well, I would have put him in twice, personally. Um, who? Yeah, I've been thinking Silver, but I was trying to see if there was anyone else I put in before that. But yeah, Silver's going in. Um, probably Baddy Shield, too. Silver's probably Baddy Shield. That'll be my top five. So why are you bringing Silver? Silver's not played much. Why are you bringing him? Mean? He's, not play, he's not played much recently. Yeah, but well, how many games did he play? I think he, how many games did he play? Recently. He was playing basically every game until February. So you're telling me Enzo's been a better player generally than Chilwa? Yes. Yes. Absolutely. Yes. I believe that. Absolutely. Yes. I don't believe that. I don't know why. I don't believe Chilwa's... Bro, I don't Chilwa believe you watch a lot of Chelsea games. Chilwa might be the worst player in the Premier League. 
Like no joke. Oh no, man! What are we doing here, man? Chill the chill was. Was. Oh, 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 I, I hope your club buys him. I hope you not come back and reignite your interest in Chillwell, please. I beg you. Chilwell, I'll take him. I kick Chillwell. Oh, I hope you get Ben Chillwell. You're gonna have I another really Calvin Phillips situation on your hands, by the way. I, I will pay that. for the private jet, not even a train. I will pay for the private jet for him to go up to Manchester, and you can deal with him. Is is Chillwell that bad? Are you serious? You you clearly just don't watch Chelsea this oh, season. No. Chua is the worst you clearly just the don't. League. And then you go into he's your right. crashes space he's every week and you get all your opinions from there the and then you dump it on here. That's what you he's do. The, worst the problem life. Chelsea fans have, they have favourites. They have favourites. And I think that skewed you. You have to come from an opinion where you're watching the other left. I, I, don't, I don't do favourites. I spent last season crashing it on two-thirds of the squad. I th- so and also those players who won me a Champions League. So please spare me that BS about oh we have favourites. Everyone gets cooked here. No, it Who are we matter. talking about? But it doesn't matter, Luis. I'm saying there's certain players like Enzo. You love Enzo that makes a man who brought you the Champions League. I'm thinking that will never happen. Enzo. Love Enzo. These players will never do that. No, it's not even they a love Enzo. It's just I've clocked on to the fact that he's the first guy everyone oh. goes for on this on this um, show every week. Literally every like, week. He has a right to hate Mason Mount. That's he's a, as a fan, he no, does. I went on Enzo because no. Enzo's a player. No, so I don't Enzo. know why he's barking, but the fans have a right to boo Mason Mount. The same way when Carlos Tevez went to Manchester City, I have a right to boo him. Auto. Listen, he won me a different. Champions League. That's different. It's a shame on you. Shame on you bringing Manchester Derby. There's a difference when you leave like Ashley Cole from Arsenal to Chelsea. There's a difference when you leave for Chelsea to Tottenham. There's a difference when you leave. For whoa, that. whoa, 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 whoa. Pause. No, 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 no. No one say nothing. No one say nothing. So it's calm for Ashley Cole to leave Arsenal because he's demanding more money and they're not giving it to him. But Mason no. Mount's calm for leaving for the exact same thing. No, what are you I talking think, about? No. Okay, let me explain to you. The what are you talking thing? about? It's, it's the exact no, same situation, no, no, no. but with more money. It's not the exact same situation. Arsenal and Chelsea were involved in a Ashley rivalry. Cole left Arsenal. because Arsenal were not going to give him the amount of money that he wanted. Mason Mount left because he wasn't getting the right amount of money that he wanted from Chelsea. What are you talking about? Hold on, hold on. But the worst thing about Arsenal, Arsenal criticised. Say you should have paid him. But one thing okay, about... What about him, yeah, because Ashley Cole's Cole, the best left back in Premier League history. What about... What what about you? What about Mason Mount ain't even United. the best midfielder at Man United. You your rivals, you don't go to your rivals. Okay, Who what about goes to, what about Van Persie going to United? Because the oh Chelsea yeah, Man United, United and Chelsea aren't rivals. Saul okay. Campbell left. Saul Campbell left from Tottenham to Arsenal. Okay, what about Van Persie going to United? Those are Judas. Judas. Judas is when you go to your rivals. That's Judas. And, and Man United is not a rival for us. What are we talking yeah. about? And that is not a rivalry, Chelsea. What, what is it? Yeah, 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 it's a rivalry. Just because we're not in the same city, you think it ain't a rivalry. It's not a derby. It's a rivalry. It's probably a league position rivalry. How is it United and Chelsea it's a rivalry? league position rivalry. United and Arsenal was a rivalry. We are, we are fighting for titles United for Arsenal. years. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. One second. Let me tell you a story. This story was a famously known. When oh, Ashley Cole, How about you stop telling us stories and you tell us your thoughts on the game? Sam, let me tell you something. Sam, just mute. I remember this very close. I said mute me. It's my section. And Google, Google if Hansa is lying. Ashley Cole was playing for Arsenal. Arsenal were top, Chelsea was second. Arsenal, Ashley Cole went to meet Mourinho in that secret hotel. And then he got published News of the World. The whole world was shocked. News of the World was the biggest newspaper in England. They used to publish exclusive news. People read it. It was front news. Ashley Cole meets Chelsea. He denied it. When I said, it's not possible. When I came out, I said, it's not possible. He can't go. There's no way he did. Next week, pictures came out. Ashley Cole, Judas. Everyone, Arsenal left him out. It was sealed within for his safety. Within it's today. funny because that whole tapped story. up stuff was not, not the season he joined Chelsea, but two it's years before that. It happened in 2005 in the 0405 season, it's and then he left in 06 07. So, what are you talking about? No, you, that's not, before the contract negotiations. What are you talking about? I'm talking about when they you're met, just when making they, shit yo, up. Yo, when, 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 when one of your set. academy, yo, when one of your one of your academy products leaves to go to another big six club, it's gonna hate you're gonna hate it's it. Rivalry, Chelsea and Man United. What are we doing here, bro? We, we were yo, we were in title race from like 2006 to 2011. What are you talking about? Milner, that's five years. Milner left me for Ch- for Liverpool. 
Milner left me for Liverpool. I don't you see were Liverpool. in a rivalry back then. You were not in a rivalry back Milner, then. That was not Milner, a rivalry. So when did Milner leave for me? Can't even believe I'm doing this. Was, but okay, cool. You were, you so, were, you were in Liverpool were not rivals. Because, because he's waffling about he's because he's waffling about yeah. Ashley Cole being tapped up and then joining the week after. Um, Hassan, can you bring this up? Yes. Tap up Rao, Cole and Chelsea guilty. 1st of June 2005, before the start of the 05 06 season. He joined at the end of 2006. So, what are you talking about? Hold on. Hold on. Who published that news? I told you the correct. Which part did I waffle? The Guardian. Guardian. Which part did I waffle? You're, say, you're oh, saying he got yeah, tapped up and then he left like the week after. He didn't. Yeah, ah, no, what's He that? left after the contract negotiations during oh. the 05 06 season. And yet you're trying to say it's completely different to the Mount situation Mount when Mount left because he wanted more money too. Arsenal, uh, Ashley Cole was a Chelsea was an Arsenal through and through. You don't move to Chelsea. You don't go to Spurs. It's a well known. You, just, you can go to United. It's fine. Arsenal have lost Van Persie. Look, they sold Van Persie to United. Also, also, no, no. We we've just segued so far off the subject. I ain't letting you get away with this. What's your thoughts on the game? What's your thoughts on the game? You you are rattled when me talk to me about the game. You How am I rattled when I'm debunking all of your claims? I'm, no, I'm telling you this. You're not allowed to be booing a guy that won you the Champions League. That's etiquette. We're, we're not allowed. You're not allowed. Says who? Cheering a guy who's eleven. Says who? Who's the judge, jury, and execution of this fan base? Because you tell me. Enzo's a fraud. Everyone knows Enzo's a fraud. You couldn't even put him then. We're, ba we're, we're back to Enzo. We're back to Enzo. No, 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 no. Who determines what a fan base's reaction? Enzo can never chat to Mesa. Who Rock. determines a fan base's reaction? Who, who's, who is it who can tell the Chelsea fans that they can't boom out? I'm telling you, Chelsea fans. If I'm and, called Palmer, uh, and why I'm is that? Cole Palmer, I heard, I heard booze around Man City when Cole Palmer was getting no, subbed off at the Etihad. But go off. No, we didn't. I heard booze. No, I was didn't. listening to the game. No, I, no, I, heard Raheem, I heard more booze for Raheem. I heard more booze for Raheem Sterling, who won four league titles. He won you four league titles. No, we didn't. So where's the energy? I'm gonna place the clip quickly. Um, Igal has to leave. Uh, Jesus leaving. Big up, Igal. Standing ovation. Big up, big up, got, big up, big up. Jesus leaving the stadium, standing ovation. There you are. That's it. That's class. What about That's Sterling? Class. Well, what about Sterling? Sterling. Where Sterling? Sterling? What, what about Cancelo? What about Cancelo? What about James Milner? will never do that. What about Milner? Because he gets booed every time he went with Liverpool. What about Milner? We don't boo Milner. You we don't boo Milner. You're chatting shit. You're actually chatting shit. What are you talking that? about? Also, you're not a better fan base for not booing, by the way. That don't make you any no, more special. Just, bro. You're allowed to boo whoever you want. Grateful. I don't I don't accept that. I will never accept City fans booing Foden if oh, Foden cool. leaves from now and he goes to let's say example, he goes to at least bro, China shit in America, bro. You're getting booed like crazy, man. That's all I'm gonna say. I'm sorry, I'm sorry man. NBA crowd. I'm sorry. And it's the owner's reason why Mount made a clever decision because Chelsea in the mud now. He was right. The story is coming out now because they. Made oh yeah, Mason Mount who left who left Chelsea as a hero in twelve. Now, to... now, no, no, now we've gone through that. Thoughts on the game? Thoughts on the game? Your shit, your crap. You're gonna be tenth. It doesn't change the thing. Your games that has left there. You're still not gonna win. Thoughts on it? So, no, still, no, so you didn't win. watch the game. You didn't watch the game. All right. I watched the game. I was, I was laughing. I was laughing. I find it comedic. As a comedy, I find right, it comedy. Who, was, who was the left winger? Left winger. Kukurella was the left back. Left winger. Left winger. Madweke played the right side. Le Enzo played. Caicedo played. Uh, Thiago Di Sassi. Who played in centre back with him? One second. Left who winger. Who played? Uh, Jackson played up front. Who played left winger? Did Mudrik? Yeah, Mudrik. I saw Mudrik. Yeah, yeah, it was Mudrik. Yeah, you're correct. You're correct. See? see? Yeah. Uh, yeah, no, you're wrong. It was Gallagher. You didn't watch the game. Uh... Bozo. <laughs> Absolute bozo. 
<laughs> right. Uh, so, so all that waffle about Enzo Mount, Ashley Cole, all that you didn't watch the game. All right, cool. I want the so, game. I want the game. I tell, oh, yeah, sure, sure. You, sure. Know, you thought you thought Mudrick started. Mudrick didn't even come off the bench. Bro, Actually, I don't even know if he came off the bench. He might have came on late. Bro, I was laughing. I was enjoying my thing. Eighty second minute. Game on the Eighty oh, second oh. minute. Yeah, yeah. Cool, cool. Two, 20 minutes too fucking late. This guy thinks that I'm gonna sit down and say, "Oh, Josie lineup, Kukurela, uh, Thiago Silva." You don't gotta look no, at the lineup. No, you know what you, you do. You watch the game and you and, and you, you, you watch the game and you see who's playing. You and you know what the funniest thing is? You went through all the lists of the players who you were trying to remember who played. You didn't even say Gallagher. So I forgot him. I didn't see him. I do. I forgot. You're right. I do. I forgot him. But you know what? I don't look at Chelsea's lineup. All ninety minutes. I just know. know. Straight away, who you? I don't look at a lineup. I just say, Yo, Chelsea, there you are. Let's go, Enzo. I'm watching you every game. That's what I'm doing. Of course, because like you're only watching Enzo because you're probably bitter that your club didn't sign him. Fair enough. Lewis, if you beat him in the FA Cup semi final, I want you to deliver your greatest cooking in football YouTube history. You have to do. It. Yeah, it's a I shame, man. Because because like Man City is the one club I don't have energy for, but you make it so difficult, bruv. You make it so <laughs> difficult, me, man. Well, you know, you know what, Hamza. There's times where I want, like, I, I hate, I hate City more than Liverpool because of Hamza. There's actually times that happens. Hey, that just means you... he lives rent free in your head. That's an L right there. But anyway, listen. Let me no, but that's how annoying he is, bro. That's how annoying he is. You said half your team played well when we had like five XG. No, I did not. Something. First of all, no, I never got to rebuttal to that. Greg, all I, I said was Paul Bala play well, Dalo and Rashford play well. That's all I said. I said. Can they I realize that they have to release those three? Seriously, you better don't lose to Coventry. Uh, by the way, guys, there's 700 people watching us. Make sure you guys are liking. Make sure you guys are subscribing. I'm gonna drop uh, a pre-recorded video in a bit about why I don't think Liverpool will win the league. So. um you know, hit the notification. Club in England. Why, oh, you're the beast club in England. Why don't you say you're going to win the league? You're big Liverpool, man. What's, what's wrong okay. with you? Are you done? Are you done? Club size does not determine where you finish in the league because Man City are smaller than all our clubs and they're, they're going to win it. So relax. Um, big up no, to no, AK. No, no, says, chest, Hamza, chest. can you please send me a crate of a crate of HNS? What's HNS? I, didn't show I think it means a Hamza and shoulders meme that you guys had. Guys, make sure you guys go get your own bottle, hands and shoulders. If you guys are unaware where you can find it, you can find it at the Hamza Waffler. So, <laughs> shout out, Nick. You get me. There are so many Hamza edits. It's scary. There's this edit. I'll never forget this. You get me. <laughs> shout out to Saad. This was after they drew, I think, or lost the game, bro. Big up, Nick. Nick has made so many fantastic edits. Um, big up to Ray Ray, who says, Egal is right when he says uh, we won't win it, but he's giving the wrong reasons. I don't think we fall off after that result. No, even does suggest that. Here we go. Lewis, what can I even say at this point? Can I, like, what am I supposed to say? What can I even say? Just, just thank you for the donation. Yo, thank, Andre, you. Ray, thank you for the super chat, brother. Appreciate it. Big up. <laughs> I give up, man. Big up to Allergy. He says, big up Hassan for inviting me to my first Eid. Hey, he just got a culture shock. He got me his first Eid. Big up to you, Allergies. I Wait, that was the guy that said McAllister's the Ar Argentinian Harry Winks, right? Yeah, I, I actually have the clip of that. Yeah, that's a terrible take. That's a horrible Shocking. take. Where is it? Not By really the way, can I just are. say, the two girls below us are looking 60. Wait, that's actually the wrong clip. In the chat, you want him sold. Is that the case? Did you say nah, seven? I just said send him back to Brighton as a joke, in it? Uh, Callis Reese is the Argentinian Harry Winks. Like, Jesus. I, I know it might be too early. Yep. Big up to you, Alertis. Uh, big up to you, my brother. Uh, big up to Rishwin. says, Salamat Pagi Hussam and Salamat Hari Raya. Tere makasse, Rishwin. Wish you the best in everything. You never walk alone. If you come back to Malaysia, it would be nice to meet you and talk football. Appreciate you. Appreciate you, my brother. I really want to visit Malaysia again. I really do. That's honestly one of my... Like, I've got to go back there. You know, I have to practice my Bahasa before I visit, though. You know, say, I think I'll do Malaysia, do a Tahun. I, can, I know how to order at a restaurant. I know how to tell the taxi driver I'm not a tourist. So he doesn't scam me. I, I like, big up, man. I, I really do miss Malaysia. Thank you so much, Rishwin. Big up to Ray, says, Hussam, you fraud. Remind me what happened when Nabi had a one-on-one -on -one at Old Trafford in the first 10 minutes. Certain other number eights can't. Brother, 
I already said Soboslai was the worst player on the pitch, but you were mad because I didn't say Salah was the worst player on the pitch. So Yes, because I want my deep line playmaker to be running through one on one. Thank you for your not your uh, thank you for your donation, Ryan. Thank, thank you. you. Big up to Sheik. Make sure you guys go subscribe to Sheik TV. Um he says happy birthday to us. Big up to Happy birthday. Appreciate Lewis, you, man. Bless up. Big up to you. Big Bless. Up to you. Uh, by the way, quickly, uh, Val has a birthday gift. All right, now that's now actually. Oh, oh no! Oh my God! You gotta be joking! I know what. Fair enough, Fel. Thank you, man. Fair enough. Well, like well, you know, big up, well, man. Everyone, please uh, make sure, guys, are wishing uh, Lewis a happy birthday in the chat. Hamza is the icon of YouTube. I love this man, and big up everyone. Hey, Hamza's got. Hamza's yeah, so big up, Hamza. You, you are very fraudulent, but big up. Yes, Hamza's goated when he's not cooking your club. Like that's Hamza's so funny when he's talking about anyone else. Like if next week Arsenal drop points to Aston Villa, he's gonna be hilarious. But if we drop points to Crystal Palace, I cannot do it. I cannot do it, honestly. So, yeah, uh, big up to you, Nidal, my brother. Thank you so much for the super chat. Anyway, big up to Nidal, big up to Sultan, Yahya, Ramen, CTID, Sheik, Herman, Rishwan, Allergies, Hamza's Shampoo, Vin, Barrios, Ryan, Sharif, SE, JL, Zone, and Comdian for the super chats. Big up to you guys. Make sure you guys are all slapping the like button. Make sure you guys are subscribing to this football if you have to do so. As soon as I end the stream, I'm going to drop my first pre-recorded video on why I don't think Liverpool can win the league. Uh, you know, will win the league, sorry. So uh, hit the notification bell so you get notified when I drop that. Hit the like button on this video. Subscribe to this football if you are yet to do so. And all of these guys' channels is in the description. All of them. You bunch of lazy bastards. Grig Stocks, go subscribe. We need to get him to 1k ASAP. Subscribe to Hamza Talks Podcast. Subscribe to Careful Lewis G. Subscribe to This Is Football. <laughs> pray for me against Madrid, man, guys. Pray for me against Madrid. Very high, bro. I'm, I'm praying on your downfall. Every oh, day, that's man. that's why we, we, you know, Premier League, we're so sadistic. Like, rather than being yeah, United. Yeah, I need them to go like, through for the coefficient. Clubs, I need eight. We, we won our downfall together. Like, this is a problem. And then La Liga all together, they're all. Praying for Madrid. I don't care what La Liga does. I don't care what Bundesliga does. I don't care what the rest of the Premier League does. I pray on your downfall, just like I pray on Hassan's Liverpool downfall. That's what I do. I am a I'm, the, I'm supporting Man City and supporting Arsenal. Big up. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm back in Man City because I need it for the coefficients. If you're in the really title, who would you support? support what? Hamza, will you support me against Atalanta? Yeah, I'm there. Shkamaka has a plan for me. Oh, I'm there. I'm there. So my one club to get it. My own. My only prayers for Man City Madrid is that it goes to extra time. That, that, that's all. Everything else is what it is. But I just need that to go to extra time. Yes. Big up, Lewis. Ignore Hamza. He's just a deflection expert. Happy birthday, my G. Have a good one. Yeah, big up, my guy. I do still wish the best for your club, except for the FA Cup. Except for Hamza, to be honest. Big up to you, my guy. <laughs> I appreciate it. Thank you, all of you guys, man. Please hit the like button, subscribe, subscribe to all these great guys. Tomorrow, I'm going to be back, inshallah, at 2.30 with Tom Little. And then me and Mo are doing a watch-along together for Arsenal, Bayern, and City Real Madrid together. So we're both going to be on the same stream doing the watch-along for both games. Uh, so, yeah, inshallah, see you guys all there. Like, subscribe, all that good stuff, and peace out.